Welcome back to Harold and the Friend Wads. We're playing Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frost Maiden. We have two new players meet Jason and Erica. Um, they will be playing yeah. Fenir and Lyophyra. Am I saying that right? Fenrir? Yep. Sweet. Okay. Um, so yeah, they're, they're fighting this dragon. Uh, you guys have fled to Bryn Chander. It's currently attacking Tourmaline. And uh, you, you sent a Tony Hawk, Slippy's Hawk, up towards Lonelywood to let them know what the heck's going on. And I think you guys were heading, headed over to Targos. Uh, and you're standing outside of the council hall where there's a number of people lined up heading in. And you see people exiting holding bowls of soup and they're just slurping them down um, um oh sorry go ahead no no yeah go ahead i was uh, i have calm emotions um would that be helpful here i was just reading the, uh, yeah i mean i'd say like you're probably like i have this available and you scan the crowd and you see a number of people that are like they're out of place they're wrapped in shiny uh, yellow uh, blankets um it seems like those are refugees from the destroyed towns, and they're freaking out. Uh, you right. can maybe so, use it on them, yeah. Just as, like, a precursor, you know, to stop anything that might happen from that. You know, just yeah. calm everybody down a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, you, you go over to this group, um, and you, you cast Calm Emotions. That's a 20-foot radius sphere. Uh, so everyone yeah, so in the group... People yeah, in the yellow description. People who came from the town, in case we need to get some information from them or something. Okay. Um. They, they I, yeah. I mean, you've comforted them for sure. Um, and they'll definitely come to you if they need anything. Um, and you probably have an advantage on trying to convince them of anything. Um, and then, I guess you probably, you guys both see this group of adventurers outside the the hall. You've um, do you guys want to describe yourselves? What does Fenir look like? Oh, he looks like a bird, um, without its wings. Uh, he he can only, from what I understand, only speak using phrases that he's heard from other people. Um, so I'm guessing it sounds a little bit jumbled when he talks. Okay. Um, but uh, he is a bard. Um, he performs by uh, using other people's voices, essentially, um, and uh, singing in harmony sometimes by using multiple voices that he's heard. And, yeah. Okay. He, Do you think you nice sang guy. to those people yeah. to calm them down? Yeah, I would imagine saying like a, a lullaby or something like that. He has a okay. lyre. Uh, I believe I gave him a lyre. It's a very calming instrument. Oh, yeah. What about you, Laya Fyra? What do you look like? So she is, um, she's of noble birth, but she doesn't really like it, and she's sort of a black sheep. So she kind of hangs around in normal uh, person clothing. She kind of looks very similar to the townspeople, but you can tell by her long hair and just, just she's not, she's very, she's wealthy, but she doesn't like the flaunt it kind of thing. So she's dressed mm. very similar to the townspeople. Okay. That's cool. And you're an you're an elf, right? You've got mm -hmm. kind of long, pointy ears. Yeah, but they're very hidden. Like Oh, okay. Oh, them. sorry then. I Okay, yeah, the hair <laughs> just covers it up. Um No, she's a human. <laughs> yeah. Hello, fellow humans. <laughs> what about uh Nencho, Harold, Demas, Slippy? What do you guys well, do? You guys see them there? Um, uh, oh boy. N Nencho would probably uh, notice um, the singing. Well, uh, I've I've already got soup. That's a given. I'm probably like slurping down my own bowl of soup. Yeah. And then uh, <clears throat> Nencho is a, a a silver dragonborn, like pretty tall, uh, but really like slender. He's got a muscular build, but like pretty skinny. Um, and yeah, he's probably holding like not just like a bowl of soup. There's like another empty bowl that he's got underneath it, and he's like so he's probably on the second serving already. Um, yep, well armed, armored, and uh, yeah, I'm just like admiring the singing from afar. Okay. 
What what class were you? I, I'm, you um, to... I look like a big burly uh, fighty type guy. Okay, rough and tumble type. Yeah, I've got two big battle axes on my on my back. I've got a couple of other hand axes here and there. Big like well armored guy. Not gonna cut in front of you in the soup line. <laughs> <laughs> I am a tabaxi, so I'm just like a cat person. I am uh, like a white tiger. So I'm like six four. I'm also not very muscular. I'm very like slim. Uh, I have very bright and very like ornate plate armor that's like uh, gilded with Bahamut's crest. Like I am just decked out in like Bahamut gear. And it's you a can, like, silver dragon. Much tell, yeah, you can pretty, it's you can pretty much tell I'm a paladin for a said god. So, what about you, Slippy? Oh, I'm just a big old snaky looking boy. Um... Like if you see the picture, uh, that's it. That's me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, yeah, he's got a wizard's hat, a big long beard, and a white mustache, okay. all coming off of a weird the snake head. Yeah, the rest of me is human, but uh, just got a weird, weird old snake head, and uh, I'm probably playing with fire. If you see me, and I'm not in combat. Oh yeah, like when we first met you, you're like lighting a flame, putting it out. Yeah, flame on, flame off, flame on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Demas, what about you? Yeah, so I'm a human sorcerer. Um, real big guy, so the best way I can describe him is he looks like Hagrid from Harry Potter. Just a real tall, um, kind-hearted guy, but he's not the brightest. Um, and I would say at the moment, I'm kind of standing around and um, packing my, my pipe with tobacco. I apologize. I didn't tell you about the the music is probably loud. Uh, the controls are at the bottom if you need to mess with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably mute it from one of your computers because yeah. you'll hear it from the yeah. other one. But You have to go to the music note underneath the toolbar. And then it's, yeah, and then it's at the bottom of that window. Okay. Um, so how do we get you guys together? Who approaches who? Oh. Uh, Nuncha will walk up. Yeah. Okay. Nuncha will walk up and uh, oh, hello, friend. That's a, a wonderful melody you're playing. Do you uh, do you care if I join you? Uh, <laughs> not not a he uh Ken uh sorry Fenrir says uh not at all, but it it comes out in multiple different voices. So you hear a couple burly men and then a child as well. Oh. Well, that doesn't bug me. I think I've got a, <laughs> sure uh, a loot. I want to do a minor illusion of just like subtitles of what I think he's saying over his head. Over Fenier's head? What do you think <laughs> he's saying? Oh, hey, guys, what's up? Let's eat some chicken wings. <laughs> okay, so there's just <laughs> words popping up above Fenrir's head that seems to be a weird subtitle thing. Oh, that's new. Um, do I notice this? Um, Give me a perception <clears throat> check to, to see if you notice this. I was about to say, can I like walk up like behind Nensha and be like, Nensha, are, are you asking these people for food? That's under skills. Un un not this yeah. time, actually. I've got some soup right here. Chicken wings does sound delicious, though. Is there any? What I'm saying. I'm not sure. I, I would highly doubt it. Yeah, mm, that's what I thought. Oh, wait. He's a, he's a bird, isn't he? That would probably be bad. No, you don't <laughs> notice at all. It's just, <laughs> just popping along <laughs> above your head. Four doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah, we got a plus three, but still not good enough to notice the, these weird words. Uh, but you do get, like, you see a number of people kind of building up next to you, trying to squint and read it. Uh, and what about did you have or something? I have one gold per show. I, I'm not paying for that. Yeah. Well, no, that's just a subtitle. Oh. <laughs> that's what he said. God. <laughs> so, wait, Harold, have you walked over, Demas? Yeah, I walked over and I told Men Show that. I was asking if he was begging for food, and I was going to let him know that we got to go inside. There's probably soup, and we got to meet with some people to try to defend the town. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I walked over as well. Okay. Do you say anything, Demas? 
No, I'm just kind of smoking my pipe. Yo, wizard and Harry. Looking at the new people, like, kind of suspiciously. Okay. Just kind of eyeing them up. Yeah, I'm just eyeing them up. You look like Hagrid from that PlayStation 2 game where his face is fucking ridiculously terrible. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> Yeah, does, it was like uh, molded on the front of a tractor. What Dan? Does, uh, does Leafira and uh, Fenir? Do you guys look like well armed or anything? Do you have weapons or? Um, I don't have any weapons. Not me. Okay. I just have the change that I got from busking. Okay. But a weapon. <laughs> guys, I gotta go to the bathroom again, real quick. I'll be right back. No worries. Okay. Yeah. Demus um, runs off. No, Demus has to take a play. piss. I guess he, you would see me holding my change in a kind of aggressive... Like, it It looks like I'm holding it in a way that could be used. Okay. Like, you're maybe, no, like... I mean, not immediately thing. aggressive, but, you know, yeah, maybe on guard. Okay. Always better watch out. Maybe, like, flipping a coin between yeah, the fingers uh, or something. Yeah, from kind of a bad part of town, so uh, he's probably looking over his shoulder a lot, and... Uh, yeah. I just lean over um, to Nencho. These guys look like they're always watching. Five. I think they can hang. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means, really, but I, I agree. Um, you guys, are you from around here? Are you, are, are you refugees uh, escaping from the dragon? Or the uh, abomination, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm uh, from area. I've lived here all my life. And there's, like, uh, some prominent families in the area, and I belong to one of those families. But uh, okay. townspeople kind of know that, but uh, they just regard me as one of their own. Is so, your town uh, doing okay amidst this abomination's attack? Oh, yeah. I guess that can be up to you. Like, how many towns have been attacked so far? Four like towns. Four, yeah. So if it's like a general area, yeah. I mean, yeah. like my town, everybody pretty much escaped. So um, okay. my family, I don't know really where they are, or where they escaped to. So I'm just sort of among the refugees as well. Okay. Yeah, and she, uh, well, she's a new friend of Um, just by going to the kind of rough part of town um, and seeing him perform, and they became friends. And so that's why they're traveling together. Um, oh, Fenir, no. uh, he he responds that uh, he he's been here just about as long as he can remember, and kind of trails off after that. Almost seems like he's well, not paying attention. I just put like, a bunch of thumbs up emojis over his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems that you are uh, you are of the people, and if you do care about these people, we're trying to uh, rally the defense against are, this beast. We are formulating um, if, a plot. To try if to you know them. any people, or if you have any uh, help you yes. can give, yeah, we def we definitely can use all the help and, we can get right now. Voice Veneer says it's it's been a while since a good fight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I want to join for sure. No, I'm all about helping my townspeople and saving them. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, but we'll uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, yeah, just we'll, soup. yeah. <laughs> Fenir, or not Fenir, uh, Demas returns from taking a piss around the corner, joins the <laughs> yeah. group again. Did, did you Sorry, have guys. to take a phone call or something? <laughs> What's that? It's like when you put your hands to your head like this and you like get is away that from the like conversation. A, is that like a high like, five? Oh, I gotta take, I gotta take this, and you like walk like away. a high five. You trying to get that to catch on to? It's it's a new oh, thing I just thought of last. Never night. heard of this no. this evil sorcery you talk of. It's not oh, sorcery. the high five! It's just a hand. It's a hand motion. The high five. Face. All right. Oh no, that is it. it like it's like this. Like you is know. it like this? Like this? No, it's it's, it's too much. No, too much. You, you need okay. the the thumb. Like this. Like yeah. They, perfect. <laughs> it's just a really big, cool. really big phone. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I think I get it. <laughs> you know that thing that you didn't understand? It's a really big one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, as you guys are practicing this new type of handshake called the high five, that's spreading through ten towns. Uh, yeah. You. I mean, just crowds keep passing by you. Um, there's like a homeless woman up to the north. Um, Demas probably sees like a a a woman with a a, a skull as a mask like a saber-toothed skull, and she's wearing a tiger cloak. 
Uh, and then down in front of this building is this small little, what is he? I think he's a gnome. Uh, but you, I guess you, you actually just see the back and it looks like a walking, talking teddy bear. And he's like arguing with one of the, the guards outside the building. Go up to him and say, yub, yub. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, okay. I, I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm him. not. <laughs> huh. Little, that was a little Ewok. Speak. Yep, yep. Uh, I got a bonfire going because I'm cold. Okay. Always. Slippy <laughs> lights up a bonfire. A bunch of people end up just gathering around it to get warmth from your bonfire. Oh, sweet. Number of people with soup already. Uh, Harold goes oh, over yes. to the front here comes to talk to, me. to this guy. And I guess he doesn't hear you say yub yub. He's just like. Uh, excuse me, I really need to get in and talk to the speaker, Duvessa. We had a thing going on. Need, uh, t- Macritus needs provisions. Okay, I'm going to offer to help here. Are you okay. To, help. to get inside? Yeah. Okay. In what so way? So you, you come up? Yeah, yeah. I, I offer, yeah, I offer help and and let him know that I can try and get him inside. Okay. You can you can get me past the god here. He's just not he's only letting people who want soup in. Well, how do we get I, in? Well, who's to say you don't want soup? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess that seems like a clear thing I should have thought of, but I wouldn't have thought of it without you. Um <laughs> <laughs> you escort me inside. So my name's Copper. Copper Knobber Knocker. Knobber Knocker. <laughs> what, what was your name, Knobber. ma'am? I'm thinking if I show some of my 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 wealth, like I have like a ring that's tucked into like the pocket of my shirt, that mm. I can show the guard to see if I can get in. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, I guess you go up to the guard and you just start just flashing th- just this these, this jewelry that shows that you're kind of a noble. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Then let's get a persuasion with advantage. So hold Alt when you click persuasion. Okay. Where is it? Uh, it's under skill. Skill there. And then if you could hit alt for me, please. Alt is, where is alt on the Oh, option. Option. Okay. Oh, on a Mac, sorry. <clears throat> there. Whoa. Oh my Lord. Okay. Um, I, I guess he just, um, he pushes the, the latest commoner who's in the doorway out of the way. He just shoves them in. Uh, and just kind of motions for you to, to go inside and bows. Nice. Oh, oh wow. I'm sorry, man. Oh, wow. I guess she wasn't lying. What's up? And I just follow behind her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just turn around to the group and I'm just like. <laughs> kind of like just hiding, like, sort of yeah, like just sure. speaking, but not talking to anybody. Mm. I, want some yeah. mm. I wasn't really paying attention. I just motioned for you to come over. Yeah, I, I look over. I'm like, what's going on? Huh? Huh? I motion for you guys to follow me. I'm part of my so follow me. Okay. So yeah, I guess go ahead and and enter into. You can drag your tokens. It's unpaused right now. Drag them into the the building. All right. Um, I guess you guys can keep this fire for now. Just well, only for a certain amount of time, right? Right, that's why I said they can keep it for now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, that's really far. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can move them if it's easier during this. Did I make um, it in? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys enter this building. There's ten chairs lining this center rug that leads up to like this giant cauldron that's just filled to the brim with soup. Um, and one of the speakers of East Haven, one of the speaker of East Haven, Danith Whalen is there scooping out soup, filling up bowls and handing it out to the commoners as they pass through. Um, 
And I guess the little teddy bear looking guy, he's just, it, at closer look, he's just wearing this kind of like handmade uh, cold weather clothing that's really puffy. So he looks like a teddy bear. Uh, and he goes over to this door here and he's just knocking on it. Divesa, Divesa, it's me. We, we gotta send somebody up there, I swear. He, someone needs to warn Macritus. Uh, and then the door opens up and she's she's standing there. Oh. Nice clothing, it's Duvessa Shane. Behind her is Markham Southwell. And they seem to be talking about something and she's annoyed that he's here. Jesus, copper, come on. In the middle of the- we're being attacked right now. We can't afford to send anybody anywhere than oh. to the dragon. Oh, can't- can't we talk in private? We- I- we had something going. I need it- oh, God. Uh, and I guess he- he turns around and she shuts the door. Mm. Are you guys doing anything in the room? Uh, um, I go get some soup. I'm okay. just opening these doors, like peeking inside. Uh, I'll I'll go up to what's his name, Copper. Okay, yeah, Copper. Well, I will say, Slippy's pop popping doors open. There's uh, the door that you're next to has a couple beds in it. Otherwise, it's empty. Um, so Nencho goes up to Copper, and he seems kind of like bummed. He's just worried. Hey, uh. Copper? Did you say that what your name was? Yes. Uh, you seem real bummed. What? What's the deal? You said a deal, or you said you had a deal too. Yeah. What is the deal with the deal? Well, before all this started happening, we, well, my, my buddy Macritus is working on something that might end the winter. Um, and he's, he went out to the black cabin up past Lonely Wood, and I haven't heard from him. We were supposed to bring him provisions. I swear he's going to starve out there. But no one's been able to go. And now everybody's used up trying to fight this dragon. Well, a little insider knowledge. We got some, uh... We got a uh, warning going up to Lonely Wood right now to try to cut off the dragon. And I mean, we're going up to Bremen, I think. Bremen or Targos or something like that. I don't know. Uh, maybe we could bring word or you said there's supplies or something. If we can handle this dragon stuff, we might be able to help afterwards. But I mean, this thing is going to destroy everyone. There's not going to be anything left. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I mean... Well, the black cabin's a little bit out of the way of the of Targos, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can help. Maybe. Was someone else trying to say something? I was snapping at my cat, so if you saw me doing weird shit on oh, camera, gotcha. okay. was that? Just want to make sure I'm not cutting anybody off. Uh, no, no, sorry, uh, Nencho. Uh, I just said maybe. Uh -huh. And you seem real bummed out. I was trying to help. Well, I... He's just getting careless. I... If he doesn't starve to death, he's gonna blow himself up working on that crazy magic. I'm just scared. I shouldn't have left him alone. And Do you know what your brother was doing to try to get rid of the winter? Some sort of magical device. He, he didn't really... <sighs> I'm not sure what it is, but it's got a piece of coal in the middle, and I mean, he's good with the magic. Ninja, you think it's worth checking out? I mean, I don't know if a bomb can blow up the winter, but if we can handle this dragon thing, maybe we can see what we can do afterwards. We're going up that way anyway. If you wanted to at least head up to Targos with us and see what happens, so you're welcome to come along. Wait, oh, you said that to him. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess it's better than sitting here and just pondering on it. All right, if you ever make it, I'll come with you. And if you make it up that way, then we can deliver it. Deliver the provisions. All right. 
Are you heading what out? What kind of provisions are we delivering? Just food, sandwiches, um, cheese. Sand sandwiches? Cheese. Sandwiches, milk. <laughs> Some Capri Suns. What kind of what kind of <laughs> sandwiches are we talking about? <laughs> oh, some M and M's, right? M and M's. <laughs> you see, you see, and then Nencho's like just finished his second bowl of the soup or whatever, and he's like, like you can see he's real lit up whenever sandwich is <laughs> mentioned. Uh, so Fenir went to get some soup, and Danith was there. Um, I'm. I'm sorry, little guy. You're gonna have to get in line. Everybody's been waiting for soup. Uh, and in a, a very innocent, childlike voice, I say, "I'm sorry. I was just so hungry." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, give yes. me a persuasion with, with advantage. Okay, so that's alt right. Yeah, the alt right. Okay. Yeah. You want a real persuasion, you gotta vote Trump. No. Oh my, uh, look at you guys with your okay. What is that KH though? Keep 20 high. 20 KH? Is yeah, it? Oh, okay. It's keep high, so it's the advantage. Okay. How many kilometers an hour? I was, uh, yeah, I was like 20K an hour. Like, what is that? <laughs> Those dice are going quick, son. Right. <laughs> Oh, I'm Damn, sorry, well, young man. I'm... Look, I... Sh hey, look over there! And not to you. He he does that to the commoner who's waiting for soup, and he's, he takes their ball and just hands it off to you, Fenir. Now get out of here before they see. Where'd your ball go, <laughs> ma'am? Thank you, sir. I don't know. Shh, and he winks. Um... Okay, so, uh, sorry, uh, who did I cut off? Nencho, you were finishing a bowl of soup that you had, and then what? Oh, I was just, whenever that guy mentioned sandwiches, like, uh, you just saw Nencho brighten up a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah, like my, my bowl of soup was freshly, like, oh, you're just, you got sandwiches? Like, I'm definitely interested in taking, t taking this guy along with us. Well, listen, then, the sandwiches aren't for the road, they're for Macritus. Of course, of course, of course they are. Of course. All right. Did do you need to roll a deception or? <laughs> um, I'm just. I'm joking. No, no. no. I mean, the the, the temp. You Nencho isn't very like. It, he, he's not making it seem like he's going to steal it, but he can't hide the, his excitement from sandwiches. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. Just checking in with Lyophyra. Are you doing anything in this room? Uh, I don't know. You don't have to. I just want to make sure to give you Hanging out, a chance. Hanging out, soup, and just talking to everybody. And yeah, I share some of my soup with her because I got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you guys are just sharing the spoon, going out of this there's one a, bowl. There's there's a dope lake where we went ice fishing and we got really really knucklehead trout. So we should just chat up the people in line. About that. We should get about the that. Yeah, we can some knucklehead trout fish. One time, like, fish jumped out of the water and I nailed them with my hand axe. It was super sweet. That was like, like a really good meal. Like, the fish did you was split so. It in two, or you just like pinned it and you were like. I, I had to swim out after it, which was kind of unfortunate, but the fish was really good. It tasted super, super choice. Super choice. I remember. Like, I remember. Like it vividly. chose. To, it chose to die for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. The, it, it was. It like lofted in the air too. Like I had yeah. time to like judge my distance before I threw the axe. It was awesome. Right. It was like. It was like fish was like. I want to be your oh, meal. I was so hungry. Do you have any more fish? Right. No. No. We just ate soup. It's no. okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, let's. Uh, yeah. Are we getting ready to go? Like. All right. So we have the. Uh, well, I think we're we're trying to. We're actually trying to meet with these people yeah. and formulate a plan and then and get some supplies yeah or just see who's going to help defend the town and we should probably evacuate whoever mm -hmm. isn't going to fight back well, we to that, had that town meeting. that we just came from Bryn Sander right Bryn Shander yeah Bryn, Bryn Shander. Shander. Bryn Shander is the big one what about it what was your question then, oh. we're still in there and we had that meeting last night and that was kind of like the gist of it right uh, mm -hmm. we said that they're going to defend here. We're sending 
word up to Lonelywood, and then we're going to head over to Targos and Bremen and try to cut it off because, like, so, there's no way we're going to get to Lonelywood in time. Mm. On do you foot think we should evacuate doing... the people in this town? Hopefully we can just kill the dragon in Bremen. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, where would they go? East Haven is destroyed. I was about to say, it's, I guess I, Air, the, the, Air Denival is where we're trying to start a stronghold. That's true. We can we could send people that want to leave to Care Denival for sure. We could spread that word that like that's a safe place. The dragon already thinks it, it'll at least oh. take a while for it to wrap back around. If it's yeah. in, we know it's in Tourmaline right now, right? Like I'm Tourmaline is still burning. Yeah. Yes. Is there anywhere we can lure it? Lure it? Yes. Is there something that craves the? The destruction so, of all people. I was about to say, normally, races. I think dragons, like, covet gold and stuff. Oh, well, yeah. Do we this know isn't... anything about this particular dragon? Yeah, that... so, like, uh, can I... I don't really know all the finite details of this thing it's made of, but it's called Chartalin. It's kind of like a mineral metal thing. And, like, Basically, some wizard did some it. weird crystal stuff a long yeah, time and my ago party and now it's all over it, and they had to like make wisdom saving throws or charisma saving throws or like they would get like really like depressed kind of like it was like had magical negative magical properties to it when people were holding it <laughs> so this dragon these all so like these durgar these underground dwarves were trying to come up and like try to harvest as much as they could of it and so like we were like encountering them and trying to stop them from gathering all this stuff uh, so eventually we found where their stronghold was, where the king was, because we captured one of the brothers, or one of the sons of the king. And so we found the stronghold, we went in there and we tried to kill the king, but when we were in there, they we saw this char Chartalin dragon being released. So this dragon made of this magical ore slash mineral is just wreaking havoc. So it's not, it, I don't even think, personally, I think like the king's controlling it. I don't even think it mm -hmm. has, like any free will you know and it's been, like, yeah. it's been okay. going on a destruction a path it went from yeah. east haven to care denival to care koenig and then it flew all the way over to tourmaline like it, and that was after uh after we scared it off too yeah so it's targeting uh settlements and also when we are trying to defend these towns and settlements and stuff with the dragon yeah, right. we're also encountering durgar too so it's definitely mm. orchestrated in some sense, I feel. Okay. That's true. Mm. I was just saying, because, like, drag, but it's not like your typical, like, proud it's not a dragon. dragon. That's why I'm calling it an like, abomination. Okay. So I'm it's a, like a golem. Yeah, because so, I'm a paladin, you know, like, for uh, the, I think, is Bahamut the only, like, lawful good dragon? I think it might be. It's the Maybe. god of the dragon. Lawful good it's chromatic a, dragon. He's, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's like the god of like dragons. So like I like am totally for dragons, and I'm like that thing is not a dragon. That thing is a fucking right. abomination. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah. If you it's guys not. are coming with us, the plan is we know it's in Tourmaline right now, which is to the north, because we can see the plumes of smoke coming out from it. Uh, Lonelywood is right next to Tourmaline. We have uh, a bird, Tony Hawk, going up to Tourmaline or Lonelywood right now to try to. Headed it off because it's going to take a few hours. Tourmaline's kind of big. Uh, it's going to take a few hours for the dragon to destroy it, unfortunately. But we're trying to make do with what time we have. So we're trying to lead it off on Lonelywood, get them all evacuated. And then Bremen is to the northwest, but closer to us. And then Targos is in between uh, where we are right now and Bremen. So we're going to go up to Targos and try to see what the situation is there. Try to get people evacuated to either... Uh, Bridge Gander or Cairdenval, where we have that we think are relatively safe, and then the next logical place after Lonelywood, it would attack, or I mean after even after Tourmaline, like if we go to Targos and Bremen, that's the most likely place where we can make a defense against it, where we can okay. actually meet like, up with it because cut him off where mm -hmm. it's going to get lost. Yeah, because okay. it, it flew down and we we fought it for a little while. Uh, Fortunately, um, Demas over here, it was kind of getting sketchy. Uh, it, the fight kind of could have went either way. I mean, it was really messing us up. But Demas, I don't know, a mama dragon. Yeah, yeah, it was like a, a mom <laughs> Durgar, like a big scary woman image. Oh yeah, it was a mom Durgar. Oh, well, yeah, 
It was technically it its dad. Kid? It was the. It doesn't yeah, have a mom, it but was yeah. The parent. <laughs> The and there was some yeah. spooky yeah. Duragar image and it got it's scared and flew away. You can chase her and just send it back to a mighty sorcerer of ancient times who made a bargain with the dragon. Let's wait, wait, wait. let's jump over to Slippy really quick. He's in this room. I don't think I don't think he's at his Oh he's not even at I should look to see if mm -hmm. someone's there. Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. Um Oh he just got back. Look. Oh, okay. So I'm Slippy. Back. You had been poking in these rooms, and you're in this kind of this office area. And at one point, Lyophyra had kind of joined you to, to poke around. Oh um, yeah, sorry. I what are you sorry. doing in there? Well, uh, I was gonna see what's on this table that I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks like there's a bunch of papers. There's a bunch of note, handwritten notes all over this this table. Um. I assume you're reading them, or yeah, reading them. See if there's any like, I don't know, overall pattern or you know something we can use for our current mission. For sure, uh, Lyophyra, When you went in there, were you looking for anything specific? Yeah, I was looking for anything that can give me more information about the king. But I didn't okay. And if anyone asked me, I was also looking for the bathroom, so... <laughs> that's that's okay. always the response. Okay, so you're looking... You're looking for information on... There's technically not a king of this area, but just, like, well, the, the person who's in charge. The, the one that, uh, that you thought might be... Oh, controlled. that... The okay, the one that they mentioned. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, well, so both of you give me an investigation. Or no, actually, okay. Lyophyra, give me an investigation. Slippy. Yeah, you give me an investigation too. Just for you skimming over these words. That's the right one, y'all. Not that one. Okay. Um Wait. you Wait, do I get to press alt if it's a one I have advantage on? I don't get that. Like, if it has a check mark next to it, what does that mean? That means that you have proficiency in it, and it's already adding. Oh, uh, okay, got yeah. it, got it. Um, I, and not that you don't read anything. So Slippy is skimming through these, this all this all these notes, uh, and you notice just you like kind it. of. Yeah, it wasn't that good, but you have a plus six. <laughs> I mean, you you see like arcane brotherhood question mark. Um, prisoner 237, maybe, um, it interrogate is kind of what you get. Okay, so then if like she comes in and like, I'm seeing all this, could it kind of be like, Hey, this looks weird. You know about this area. Oh, for her investigation. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but well, yeah. And it looks like she already rolled with advantage. So yeah. So she got a 16 and she's, she's noticing, um, some notes that are mentioning the Durgars, like um, East Haven Ferry, overrun by Durgar. Um, it, it's mentioning two sons, Durf oh. and Ner uh, Nildar. So I, I guess from what you're you're looking for stuff about the king, and I, I guess you find out that he has two sons named Durf and Nildar. One was. Uh, out at the East Haven Ferry, and one was at a like a uh, an outpost off near the mountains. That's actually where we were off in... mm -hmm. <laughs> where, Isn't that where Tony Hawk was heading. No, Tony Hawk's heading to Lonelywood to protect people and send them a message. Okay, send a message at least. Yeah. So does he have? I'm sure he does. Um, are you guys talking about anything? I mean, I guess Duvessa ends up coming out of this room and is... Oh, ex excuse me. Sorry. If you guys could... I'm sorry, just be right outside my door. Um, I gotta get... And she... Oh, well... I'm sorry, we're, we're planning over here. My um, my fault. We'll oh, it's you... Okay, I'm sorry. It's been so stressful. I... <sighs> All right, uh... I gotta deal with something else. Uh, there's dragons going on, and now there's this goblin thing. I okay, we'll talk later. You guys are going to Targos, right? Whoa. What, what goblin? goblin thing? Uh, yes. Well, there's this goblin just came into town, doesn't have any arms, and says he's trying to 
do some diplomacy Wait. is what he said. Where where is this? What do you mean? No arm goblin diplomat. No arms, as in like no appendages or like no weapons. Oh no, he doesn't have any arms on his oh, torso. Oh, okay. It's he's. I don't know. I'm not. It's like I'm not scared of him because oh, obviously he can't really hurt me. But it's a. Right, he's like a big noodle. He's a big noodle. He's <laughs> he, yeah, sure. He's a big noodle. Yeah. Well, what whatever he, he is, he's in this room over here, and I've got to figure out what the hell's going on. I'm sure they're pulling something. Markham, you go gather the militias and, and get ready for whatever happens. I'm going to go talk to this goblin. They better not be in on it. We're probably a little more fitted for, you know, defending and being part of the militia. Let us know if the goblin with no arms does give you a bunch of trouble, though. <laughs> you better believe I will. You guys are my go-to adventurers. Oh, you've got two more. Yeah. Are they, I, are you, they with you? I don't know if I've I believe so. Got more I still names. haven't found the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, we should say our names. <laughs> what are your the, names? They were helping people outside, and we asked them if they wanted to help us, and they agreed. Um, oh, oh, well, <laughs> Lyophyra needs no introduction. I, uh, oh. And I thought, wait, Lyophyra, like... You. Like the I'm royal person? Low, I'm Lyophi trying to keep a low profile, though. Oh, you're, wait, you're that, you're that, Lyophyra? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Sh okay, okay, sorry. Well, that makes sense why we were able to get in really easily. Yeah, that, to, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, I... Oh, oh just lay low, I get it, I get it. Um, you. I'm, I'm Nencho. I'm nice Harold. to meet you. Demas. Very nice to meet you. And uh, that snaky guy, I think his name is Slippy, it's, right? I'm Slippy, I like rooms and bathrooms. Slippery. Something. <laughs> yeah, the vessel is in, so you couldn't friend? do anything. These guys are going to take the shipment up there. F I mean, we're going to go together, but we don't even need you. Cool. I, that's great, because I don't have time for any of this. What is your bathroom in here? <laughs> no, get get. So get oh. out of there. This is where we oh. hold up. Do you oh. want to be a prisoner? Well, I don't, do they have a bathroom? No, unless you're used to oh. shit in the bed. But even then, well, like, they have a bucket. All There's right, all right. I, I guess things, that things seem kind of tense. Can I pull out my lyre and start playing a little something to try and get people to stop arguing? <laughs> are you doing? Just look at me. Sure. Well, she, so yeah, yeah, I mean, Slippy had, had swung the door open on this bedroom down here and saw this armless goblin just kind of sitting on the bed and he looks over at him uh, and it's just like, Oh, hey, don't hurt me. Uh, but then that's when <laughs> well, Duvessa comes and says all that stuff and then steps in and shuts the door behind her. Yeah, that, that's no worries, guys. Uh, obviously a threat. He's going to open that fucking knob any day. He's going to headbutt the shit out of us. Yeah. Demas, I haven't heard from you. Are you doing anything? Uh, Not not particularly. Um, okay. Yeah, just kind of hanging out. I was complaining about the suit, but now I'm sort of... I was going on about my diet earlier. Oh, okay. And, well, yeah, I yeah. mean, one of the commoners is what just is like... I know, man. They could add some more salt to it or something. Like, it doesn't have I that chest I thought the soup was touch. fine. I was complaining mm -hmm. about the soup having too much sodium. Too much? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, sh you were not... <laughs> we, we, we're we not, not going to get just along. Paid, I'm I just can't be choosers. I'm a big salt. Sodium. Boy. More like modium. <laughs> Whoa. I don't, I don't know. And then, yeah. Okay, well... Because I need some modium. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. Where are you guys... What are you guys doing? I know you have a plan to start... So, I guess they're sending out the you. militia, right? To go to this other, the other town? What Wasn't that part... Was What was your plan? To send it yeah, to the other town? Right? I know or they're preparing we, some no, of no, the no, militia I to, to I prepare we're it in off case here. this town gets attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to Targos, and then maybe okay. to Bremen afterwards. 
Okay. Yeah, target. And, and we seem kind of like we uh, we didn't have a destination we were going, and we're just kind of going where you guys are going. I kind of want to find out more about this king that's controlling the dragon. So I'm 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 joining you guys so I can learn more and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, that sounds like, from the sounds of it, we want to kill this guy. You know, that's an easier task. I don't want to be presumptuous, but I could tell uh, you you had some arcane assistance behind those notes. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Your music? Oh, uh, I don't like to talk about it. Well, that's fine, but... Magic will be very useful against this dragon. Oh, I have a little bit of that. Yeah, I was I was willing to to use what I have. Yeah, um, that, because I was over the years I I've was slamming this things. thing with my axe and uh, it didn't seem to do too much. It's hard to get uh, a good. But she said, I, I have a particular <laughs> set of skills. Um, I, I perform for money, but I I can be very persuasive. Um, well. She and said. Any, from the the use of different people's voices, and uh, obviously all of this is being said with people's different people's voices to mix it up. Uh, I can pick and choose when to use them, and it can come in handy, like you saw. Okay. May I saw with the soup? Okay, might be but harder yes, against I'm, a dragon, I'm but I'm optimistic. Sure, absolutely. Well, yeah. Uh, Oh, and uh, this if this king does is behind it, I know that kings tend to be proud, and I have a sharp tongue. That definitely could help. Uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, hit, uh, what was that spell called? Vicious Mock. Vicious Mock. Vicious yeah, Mock. Vicious Mock, the abomination, uh, for sure. Vicious uh, Mockery. Well, no, so, no, the guy controlling it. That, that you think might be controlled. Oh, if it is a man. Mm. Well, we well, I will think. See. Yeah. Well, Nencho, I think, is just pointing out that the dragon doesn't take much damage from non magical things. So if anyone has some sort of magic, that could oh. be beneficial. Yeah, both me and her have. So she's got. Uh, Firebolts, lightning lore, ray of frost. That's, that's all I need to hear. You can shit blast them. I don't. I don't get the mumbo jumbo. I'm just gonna swing my axe at them. Yes, we <laughs> we, uh, we we have tools at our disposal. I'm right. so. using a bunch of work tools that he. I, it's magic. I don't I get mean, it. The yeah, context, just, we got but... just blast them. <laughs> yeah. So okay. wait, is this magic? Uh, is this dragon like currently attacking and like visible and blah blah blah? Not yeah, just, I, we can see no, the plumes of fire coming out from the one town to the north. So we're guessing it's a that's an educated guess, but uh, we're gonna okay. yeah we're gonna try to go cut it off at one of the other towns because the two other towns it's right. close to are too far away. Okay. So that's why we use your Tony Hawk to go send him up to one of the towns to help like evacuate them and warn them. He has a message, and yeah, then okay. we're gonna Tony. go. Tony Hawk with some dragon's breath to like lead him away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then um, I was also thinking about using major illusion to just have a dragon orgy appear somewhere that the dragon would be attracted to. <laughs> oh, well, well, there you go. That's like far. what Fenir was talking about. Something to lure it in. Yeah, it's you, right. You far, but some... that could be useful whenever we come up to it. Last time we saw it, it was like attacking a town in the middle, but like if we could. Get to I mean, town, this is a it, which we might a twenty foot major illusion cube. That that's a sexy dragon. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, you got to get there. It's not attacking this town, so you guys yeah, yeah, are, yeah, are yeah, probably really packing up to head towards wherever you're going. You have your sled with the axe beaks as well. Oh wait, um, and the celestial buffalo. Thank you. No, he swapped. Oh. It's, uh, it's just exists. So, so, it's just, so it just goes until it's dead, man. Yeah. yeah it's so just, find, that's it's why alive. I was switching my spell. Like, find steed is dope because I just have a fucking horse mm-hmm. until it dies. Wait, and yeah. I where did it. Tony? Where did Tony? Tony boy guy pony go? He went. He to, went to Lonely Wood. Oh damn it! Okay. Uh, Fenir, you were saying something. 
Yeah, I was just looking at uh, at my spells and um, the uh, the suggestion mm -hmm. or um, let's see, what was this gift of gab? Uh, let's just redo do, do, do. what you said. Um, gift of gab. I was just looking at what that spell did or um, was that other one? Uh, suggestion. Would, would either of those be helpful? We don't really know until we get there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. It, like, in a meta sense, maybe, because there's, like, dwarves in Durgar that we were fighting. That could be useful against that. Against a dragon? Maybe, maybe not. It just depends. Uh, he used an illusion to scare it off, so, like, maybe, but I think... But their perception is, like, insanely yeah. high. And you also be, wouldn't know until you cast it. Like, yeah, you, know, you could suggest yeah. something, but they could save. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it, so, I remember playing with Brian. We had like a. I was rolling 20s, and he was like, nah, didn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, it depends on so, the, the creature, but they could have a high. Well, maybe. We, we know save. we can damage it. We know that it's possible for spells to affect it from what we know from fighting it. We know it's resistant to physical damage. So uh, I think we're gonna have to use magic. Um. Well, I mean, you guys just can. I don't have that option. So I'm just well, gonna yeah. still probably yeah. bet. But right, yeah. I mean, so like, that's what physical. we know about it. Mm -hmm. That's what I can yeah. give you. Dragon's that's breath. Took, so in Let's a meta go, time, boy. <laughs> that's why I took magic weapon because a magic weapon isn't like slashing damage. It's magic mm -hmm. damage. Ooh, nice. Yep. Yeah. But yeah. So. Uh, Fuck yeah. Yeah, so it wouldn't get halved, and I get a plus one. So we, the we only other thing options. I was thinking was uh, the terrain around where we're at. Is there anything, like, can I walk outside and look around and see if there's anything we could use to our advantage against this rock? Well, or anything? we're not at the place we are yet, where it's going to be yet, unless we just decide to stay here. We're going to go to another town that's probably a few hours away. And then we might so be able to see it or anything, like see yeah. what the the terrain's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah we should take a look. Okay, I'm I, I go for... I'm shitty. <laughs> um, I go outside and I try and find a good vantage point to just kind of look around and see what I see. Um, as far okay. as like where the town's at that's burning and uh, the town they're heading to, just to see if I can see anything about the layout of it. Okay, or like what. Could Natural things are there. So in there our way. rocks on top of a mountain that we right, can right, or like it. Really <laughs> for sure. Well, here, let me. Let's just let's jump out. So you guys are you're probably planning to leave, and he's just kind of looking at the terrain as you were wandering. Right, let's right. Just kind of activating this. Oh, cool. Now this screen might look like a black with a bunch of dots on it because uh, you haven't revealed all the places. Oh shit! Yeah, but this is the world map. You're a place. I think I need Whoa. to give permission. Hey, that's what I said. You gonna travel to me? You gonna see my that's landmark? What I said, buddy? Not, cool. I mean it. Yeah, I will construct Ooh. a historic monument. I mean, oh. As long as you pay the taxes. All right. Can you hey, the city's gonna pay for that. I wish. I mean, if it's anything like the Ram Stadium is going. <laughs> Hang on, sorry, the vision on this is weird. Let's just give it. What was in that soup? It was mushroom soup. Mescaline soup. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't eat any. I had like five bowls. <laughs> Damn, <it's laughs> fucking. Bowl. Do you guys ever? You remember that comment where it was like, uh, what is in this soup? And it was a guy with like a fucking whole like Indian headdress. Was like, yeah. Yeah. He melts yeah. into the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you're at the edge of Bryn Chander right outside the walls. I mean, uh, Finier's kind of looking around uh, and looking at the, the it's uh, mostly snow. Um, to the north next to Lonelywood, there's a forest. Um, the mountain is past that to the northeast. Um, yeah. So right, there's a big body of water. Is yeah. Targos what's being attacked right now? 
Tourmaline. Uh, Tourmaline is being attacked up here. Okay, and then we were... So we think... So here's the here's what we think, and here's what our plan is. We think it's going to go up to Lonelywood next. So that's where we okay. sent Tony Hawk. And then like we're going to try to... We're going to go to Targos and see, like, what the deal is. If they've been attacked, and, like, try to head them off. T tell them to go to Bryn Shander or over to Caradineval, which is way to the northeast-ish over here. And, um... Or and then if we could get a major illusion, like, right here, where I'm pointing, and then just, like, have a big old... That's, like, see it, I think, miles. That's, oh, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah, not going to yeah. be able to see it's that gonna in the middle. It's going to be hours. So, but the the idea is that it's probably going to go to Lonelywood. Fuck that up. Hopefully they're gone by that point, and then it'll go to Bremen next, where we will hopefully be there to cut it off. Cool. I, I, and that's like the best plan I think that we've been able to come up with. All the townspeople are just like, we're just gonna hold, hold yeah. steady, and like we can't do that. It's already destroyed four towns. We have to try to do something. We've already caught it once. I think, with like a little luck and you know uh, some ingenuity, we can do something. Is that body of water frozen? It is. Oh, around the it edges, is. but it is open in the middle. It's not completely okay. frozen over. Here's an idea. What about trying to get the dragon in there? It's made That's of rock. Why, um, hey, it can fly. It can fly. It can fly. fly? But, but yeah. once it's it can over. fly. But what if we create a, a massive amount of heat underneath and then create a vacuum to suck the dragon in? I don't, yeah, I mean, once it's underwater, I mean, I don't know how the physics. I mean, that, that's how thermodynamics work. Like heat. Yeah, but you'd probably need a down tube. And then pushed can, up. You, can you do, probably can need you do tube. that? Can oh, you would a, a volcano not be a big tube? Can you make a volcano? I mean, I figured there would be one over there if we're already like over the. <laughs> there's uh, no, there's not a volcano over uh, there. Sorry. Okay. But that looks like three big volcanoes to me. Okay. What? Well, I mean. Well, Sorry, it's not. Out of conjecture, okay. and if you don't have a volcano that you can spawn underneath the water, I think that. Well, I would like to we're, try we're to do it, areas, but Alex, we're talking about the ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Um. Yeah. No, I just like these three little nipples back here. That's all I'm looking at. And also, just if even if we go to the mayor, um. There's no chance it'll even fly. Like it could fly around us and never even like see our stuff. If we go to Bremen, we know it'll probably go there. It is going. No, there. yeah, I just they just look like three little things. I want to do that too. Well, yeah, I mean Bremen would be a lot. <laughs> we would have more time to prepare mm -hmm. if we do come up with a plan. You know, there might be something yeah, but... in Bremen we could use. No, my yeah. ask pure conjecture. I have I have nothing we no, can I... use. So. Yeah, we're, I, we're, like, I like the, the, I like the, uh, the enthusiasm, but I just, it's already destroyed four towns. I just want to make sure we can get this thing. No, I know. I'm just throwing shit out there. Maybe one day we can summon a volcano yeah, yeah. and solve all of our problems. Maybe, maybe one day my uh, bonfire will just be big enough that I can just I'm not, summon I, I don't know how that volcano. magic works, though. So, so, hey, yeah, you I'm know sure what? Slippy can do it. So what is what is Tony Hawk uh, capable of? It's really so just uh, it's just a bird kind of. Well, we, we, uh, like, the letter that we gave. He it has to. no. He has um, breath, uh, dragon's breath for. But he uh, can't actually. As, well, no, you didn't. You have to give it dragon's breath. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say he 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 has it like as the reconnaissance thing, but then after that, yeah, not so much. So yeah, it's essentially Tony Hawk is just taking a message to Lonelywood to make sure that everyone knows it's coming and it's gonna get out of there in time. Um, okay, so Did I've we been give him like a, a like a scroll or anything to like actually tell them, yeah, or is he just the hawk yeah, screeching? Yeah, la last time, yeah, last session <laughs> we sent him with a scroll up to Lonelywood, letting him know. Okay, I was just saying, sure, it was a, it wasn't just a hawk like coming in people's window and be like. I mean, no. we could rest on it. It's way more entertaining than uh, like having it be a letter. <laughs> yeah, if, if it it's is. just it a is. hawk squawking in yeah. people's windows <laughs> just to tell them to get out. We gotta get out of here. It's they doing its best though. dragon impersonation. <laughs> he knows it's something. Dragon out. emojis with fire next to it, you know. Uh, so you guys are on the road for about an hour before you get to the out the the outer gates of Targos. Um, shit, I gotta look at. 
what the fuck's happening. But yeah, um, so you guys have made it to Targos. The, 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 a lot of their military is lined up outside. They're just waiting. No destruction here yet. Uh, no destruction. Uh, what are you guys doing? Are you you're passing through, going to Bremen? Uh, is Bremen still intact? Okay, okay, so there's technically some retconning I've got to do. Uh, I got the AM PM wrong, so technically it's night when I had told you you could see through the day, but I don't want to like take that away. So uh, Bremen does seem to be fine as far as you can tell. Okay. And it's They're much just having closer. a really wild party, you know, like a real big bonfire, trying to celebrate <laughs> like their lives, you know, before a dragon just wipes them out. Like, yeah, oh, they're they're just, sure. it's an end of the world party there. that they're throwing for sure. Nice, nice. I mean, we could stop like, by Brevin, right? That Rick and Morty episode was so good, though. That's true. But we can talk about that later. Um, what, what what were you talking about going to Bremen? Yeah, oh, I, Bremen's I, intact. Yeah, but but honestly it is closer i mean that that's the only thing uh that's a hell of a way to get to lonely wood if they get evacuated i mean is that dragon does it like destroying things or people so like, towns, like is it's gonna do anything if there's nobody there it's laying waste to towns and then we're for one's livelihood in that town so yeah. it doesn't matter if there's people in it. Or yeah, so even if people get out, he's still going to take his time. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay, I think, attacking be buildings. Worth it. I think uh, my vote's to go up to Lonelywood. They're Although, taking that on. to send a message to Bremen to, like, I don't know, not stay there. I will say that to get to Lonelywood, that's going to be two hours to Tourmaline, and then another hour to lonely wood so that's three hours I mean, to get up there and that's hoping it doesn't move on village, like, and we could be caught in like the middle of a we could be caught in the middle of traveling with like no cover yeah, i've got tiny hut that seems like a long way to travel this is true. i got tiny hut like you know if we're just out in the open it breathes fire if we can oh my god i got tiny hut we have a little that's bit of true well it'll protect ourselves. you when you're out there but just not maybe get you doesn't, to the places you need to be in time. Doesn't Tiny Hut make you invisible? No. Yeah. Well, what I'm afraid is... Yeah, it does. When you're in in the thing, it, you're invisible, I thought. I'm pretty sure that's not true. I'll look, well, I'll look, up, I'll look it up. But what were you saying, Regardless, Nacho? I was thinking by the time that we take to get to Tourmaline or Lonelywood, it'll probably be gone already, though. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of, right. getting caught out in the yeah, open. That's why I was asking how long it usually pillages for. You know, I don't know if we know It this. doesn't pillage. It just destroys and moves on. It doesn't yeah. stick around. Well, how, like, how I'm 95% sure you're invisible. <laughs> invisible. Well, go read it and then bring it back to me. Okay. The dome is opaque from the outside. Not So, yeah, invisible. you can't see him. No, that's nah, not the same as invisible. Not opaque. Okay. Sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys are discussing. Yeah, it's probably going to take a while to go up to Lonely Wood. Uh, I mean, you could try it. You don't know how long it's going to take to destroy yeah. Tourmaline. If you guys have a better plan, I, it's just, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, we, we, we would just be hanging out in Bremen. Yeah, but then you'd yeah. wait for it to show up. And then maybe try to fight it, or yeah, I'm I'm worried that if we the I, I mean I'm okay going up there and trying to meet it off, but I'm worried that we if we get there, controlling this thing, do we not know where the king is? It's controlling. We do, this but thing? it's really far. Okay. Kind of thing. Yeah, and I guess yeah. our oh, philosophy I mean, is we were just trying to like save the townspeople and trying to like maybe. Okay, so wait, that... wait, wait, Alex. Last part of the spell, but it is transparent from the oh inside. Sorry, my so my fault. Okay. Uh, what were you saying? I like, thought it's like, outside. I were... In that case, we should go to the town where they're having the end of the world party and get them out and evacuate. I mean, so they even know. I, no, they don't. So I think that was well, also part of our mission. We're trying to go like town to town and be like, hey, get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, it is closer. And then we could still head the same direction, right? I mean, like, is there some way to head north, uh, northeast? You'd have to go like, across 
Marital. We'd have to go up and around. Yeah, or go like all the way up and around. Yeah, so it would take a long time. Yeah, That's why it's like the best, the best and not situation. Because Tormal, like, as far as we're concerned, Tourmaline is lost. There's nothing we can do about it. It's already mm -hmm. attacking there. By the time we get up there, it's probably going to be done. It's either going to move on to Lonelywood or Targos, since everything to the east, it's already attacked. Like, it's coming from the east to the west. So, like, Lonelywood's the next closest one. It's the one that makes the most sense for to attack the next. It's so far, though, that because we, like... There's no way for us to reliably get up to Lonelywood in time, I feel like. Because Lonelywood is also smaller, too, than Tourmalane. Am I, am I right? Yeah, I yes. mean, it also doesn't have to deal with traveling over terrain. It just flies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it can move so much faster than we can. So, like, you know, I mean, there's I a hear... possibility it would go to Bremen. I mean, like, we already sent Tony Hawk up to Lonelywood. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. we're, yeah Bremen, and That yeah, was Bremen's our point. Bremen. So, we're going to go through Targos and tell them what's up. Tell them to go to back okay, to Bridge yeah, Shander, where it's heavily fortified, or Cairdenval, where it's already attacked, but it, like, got driven away. So, like, hopefully it won't go back to there. But, like, it seems like Bridge Shander is the safest place to send people. We're going to go to Targos, tell them that, then go to Bradman, do the same thing, and then hopefully try to mount a defense. I, I, where are we sending well, the people again? Bryn Shander, the place where we all met up. It's like a, pr it's like okay. probably the most well-fortified town. Attacked, right? It's already been attacked? No, not no. yet. Mm -mm. But it's the biggest but city, and it has huge it's most walls. Fortified. Yeah. And it has the most people okay, it's defending it still, too. Mm -hmm. All right. That makes sense. Okay. It's like there's... There's no optimal situation in this, as far as like yeah. Nincho is concerned. Been, like we're just trying to put out the fire that's already burning. Right. We've been like right. cutting cities out, kind of like, oh, we're, we don't have enough time to go save those people, so yeah. we're just gonna cut it off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. So, uh, did you say that uh, Targos fought it off, though? No, it hasn't been attacked mm -hmm. yet. It's, it's so we're trying to like make so, our way to towns and have a minute. If attacked. you look, if you look to the east, it might be blacked out a little bit still. But Ker Dinaval and Ker Koenig, are the two white parts to the northeast. So Ker Dinaval is mostly destroyed. Ker Koenig is fucking like seventy five percent destroyed. East Haven is decimated. That's the one that's south of all that. So like it's already been just tearing through the whole area, and it hasn't even been more than a day or two. Yeah, we were trying to like discern if it was making a certain pattern and whether or mm -hmm. not a certain town would be good to cut off, and, and so we kind of like. It doesn't seem to be getting tired because we did we did some damage to it, and it just kept flying away and just kept attacking. So yeah. it doesn't seem like it has to rest, or at least as far as we can tell. It's a fucking Terminator. Because yeah. like it's we, bad we've, news. We, how, did guys, it, how did you guys injure it or whatever? Just magic and we, we, just yeah, we, with swords and stuff. I hit it real hard. I hit it a bunch of times with my axe. It didn't do as much as I would like, but I was able to hit it. It's just yeah. that that stuff is hard to get through. Yeah. Chartwood. That's right. Magic does it, have any, does it have any weaknesses that we know of? I mean, does it... Not that, that we can tell, yeah. Does it but they've have... only dealt with it a little bit. What life mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Like, does it seem like it's agile? Like, can it move its its body fairly pretty, easily? It pretty weak? easily. Yeah, no, it, it, it was it, getting it, three attacks on a turn, mm -hmm. swinging it its tail quick. around. And okay, it's, so it's really quick. So it's really it's not, yeah, it's not a dragon, but for all intents and purposes, it acts and moves like a dragon, like right. someone has constructed it to do, uh, to move like this, and, you know, it has, uh, some type of explosive breath weapon that it uses to rain, uh, fire down on these towns. Uh. Do we have some way to feel it? Yeah, another thing. Whenever we got close to it, my, my head felt all foggy and funny. It's made of okay, so this has those effects. Mm. Oh my god. What were you saying, Fenir? Uh, is if we could uh, figure out some way to fasten its mouth shut. If you got any ideas? No, any just, chance? Let me uh, <laughs> see what I. I do. It's probably not strong enough with a mage hand, but it's an unseen servant. Be but just a concept uh, like it, it's got explosive breath, but if we can somehow use that against it, you know, if we can somehow. I think the, the biggest advantage for us in that situation would be spread out. 
so we can only hit ooh, one ooh. or two of us at that's a time. That's why we're that's why we're getting a grease in its mouth. <laughs> that Strength and numbers could work. What we're really trying to do. I mean, grease in mouth means extreme flammable fireball in the thing's face. But if it's lured into a situation, could just spit it at you? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, but it's already in his face. Okay, maybe, yeah, like, I, I mean, when you get like there, you can try that. Like, I have um, no idea. Like, I've been out for the last five minutes, so I have no idea where we are. Well, I, and this I would ask for you to be thing, here the whole time so you know what's going on. I know, but my uh, internet connection keeps dying out, so I can't fucking do that. That is unfortunate. I'm sorry. Um, well, anyway, so, okay, are you guys going to Bremen? Yes. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, while the... we're talking, can we be moving to Bremen? Like, as we're, like, discussing tactics on this dragon? Most definitely. Sorry, it was screaming because everything was set to, like, max volume on the the songs. No worries. There's just a lot of people, and we're just trying to get get the plan done without too much extra stuff going on. Uh, so, yeah, you I, guys yeah, are heading down the road with your uh, your axe beak and your sleds, and you finally you make it to Bremen. To actually, the road ends at uh, the the Shane Garn River, and so you have to cross that, and it goes a little bit slower. But finally, you make it into Bremen, the small the smallest town of ten towns. It's about 3 a.m. Um, just a real quick, we when we pass through Targos, we let them know, right? We let them know that, like, to evacuate to Brimshander and that like the dragon is attacking all the places. Yes. In fact, I think when you sent Tony Hawk out, you guys had... Well, we at least talked about him sending the snake boy that he had caught That's to right. them as well. That's we right. have our other snake that always just flies to Targos? That was the or one that you sent, thing? yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, yeah, you were able to inform Targos, and that's why their military was ready and at the gates waiting for it. Sweet, sweet. All right. That's, is, um, so good. Targos, Targos probably has more population and is probably a little more fortified than Bremen. Way more. Uh, from some, yeah, Bremen is from the Bremen. smallest of the ten towns. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so Lyafira has uh, control flames. Okay. That. I, I, That's, yeah. That that, that might good. work. Like, it's, yeah. but it's usually something that happens like for flames that are already existing. Like the dragon's breath happens real quick. Like she can maybe oh, yeah, like ready in action. Now. Yeah. Unless so yeah, you have to be able to see the flames, I guess. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it looks like yeah, yeah, you can see within range. So it just like breathes it and then once it's done, it's already done, like it'll do it in a turn. So like you can like right. ex like extinguish a flame, you know, that it left or something like that, but Well, I mean once it attacks the buildings, yeah, she can use that to start yeah. putting out the buildings out. and burning yeah. people and stuff. Yeah. It's definitely gonna have a role for sure. Oh yeah. Um Okay, well, yeah, you're in you're in Bremen. I guess Before everyone is kind of none please, the wiser at the moment. Restroom real quick? Well, like, restroom, and, uh, yeah. okay. at will, does that mean, like, it can be, I mean, I don't know who played Magic the Gathering, but, like, an instant, like, it is... I if think it, it says, means it doesn't it, use your spell power. Yeah, the, the, um, way, the way that stuff works is at will means you can do it any time. And then there's like encounter stuff that you can only use once, like a fight, and sometimes there's like daily spells. But at will is just like yeah, like you can just do whatever. Okay, well that what I was saying is for control flames. That one's at will. So does that mean mm -hmm. like if if it breathes fire, could she try and like turn around? Is that? And that's that's up to him. I mean, at will is typically it's during its turn though. So like it's at will. It takes still usually takes the a standard will. action to do. Yeah, but it's like, still like, an action. It just means like because within turn. a turn you have an action, a bonus action, a reaction. So yeah, she'd use it as an action on that turn, um, but she couldn't use it multiple times until the, her next turn. Right. Right. Okay. But she could use it in like, uh, yeah. action to it breathing fire. I don't know if you'd be if you're trying to say if you like curve the fire out of the way. Yeah, or like to him. Oh, to like that's, a fire. That's game. not how the spell works. Yeah, no, it's not a reaction. 
Okay, well, okay. They, that's what yeah. I was asking. Like, you can't, like, like, block. Like I said, maybe if you held the action to do it, but even then, I think Control Flames is a cantrip, so, like, that's even kind of wiggly right there, you know? Oh, mm -hmm. That's all really, like, kind of meta stuff, too, you know? It's, no, a, it's I mean, really doing doing how it works. Out. Yeah, mm -hmm. but no, yeah, you probably couldn't use it against the dragon's attack against you, just like with the fire that was caused because of it after the fact. Yeah, I figure I get this stuff out of the way while we're traveling. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, so yeah, you guys are in Bremen and no one knows what's going on. Everyone's just actually having, they're just, it's not even an end of the world party. It's just a regular. Every... Bremen's just partying it up? Yeah, they're yeah, just partying it up. Yeah. We're about Winter to start. Days festival. We're about to start an end of the world party. Uh, I guess, is there any, like, guard presence here? Not really. This is one of the smallest towns. There's probably a couple of guards, maybe outside the town hall. Um, I'm going to turn hey. to the, uh, the can, wards. Slippy, can you cast Minor Illusion and yell really loud and warn these people that a dragon is coming? That's a good idea. And I'm yeah, gonna like go no from door to door and just try to like. I can do that. You have minor illusion, I think. No, I do, but I have no idea what's been going on in the last like. Oh, I got. Well, dragons so attacking. Minutes. Dragons attacking. We're going to a town. Oh. We're trying to warn them. They're partying. They have no way of knowing. So I'm gonna see if you can just yell really loud with minor illusion and just try. Uh, to uh yeah. All up up above that town with like fireworks and shit. I'm gonna be like, dragon, come to fuck your anus. Okay, uh, well, the, the point is well, you're well, trying I to mean, tell these people not... that the dragon's coming. Yeah, I know, exactly. I'm, so hey, you said dragon, coming. we're Yell. gonna... No, Sorry, dragon is coming to, to, to F your anus in, in the least dragonly spots possible. I gotcha, I misunderstood the first thing. Okay, um, a dragon's do, do coming to like F your them? anus. Mm-hmm. Do we see a newsboy or anything? Like, anybody, like, shouting? Is there anybody... Somebody in the sky is shouting. And I'm going to start <laughs> yelling, too. Like, can yeah, I start, like, I was can gonna I start say, going to, like, town there hall? Should, there should be, uh... I, I mean, if we've done a long rest, I should be able to do a uh, major illusion with just, like, a dragon kind of, like, you know... Don't summon a dragon. Suddenly... Well, not, not dragon. Oh, maybe... Yeah, what would I do? Like, uh, avoid a dragon? Like, what, what would dragons want to avoid? How long does it last? Because well, that's it's important. Well, it's a third so level trying to do... spell, yeah. I have a major image spell. What life, Ira? Object, creature, or some other piece of phenomenon that is no larger than a 20-foot cube. Well, what yeah. would you think about that? Yeah, as a 20-foot cube. Yeah, I know. So we're here preemptively, so we're just yeah, trying yeah. to evacuate people. Yeah, you don't you know? know when it's going to show up yet. I guess that means, like, right. Mancho and Harold, we're just going to go door to door and just, like, start yeah, just sorry, telling that's, anybody that's... we can see. Oh, oh okay. Do. So then can I have, like, a uh, a dragon, like, flying off in the other direction? Like, they're not supposed to be going? You can. Yeah. Yeah. I th and I then that... just kind of, like, run what? along that path and just like keep going doing the dragon until they get the town evacuated um i okay. have a suggestion can i go around like suggesting to people to help with like warning it, people about the dragon so meta meta gaming it affects a single target and affects a spell slot it i mean you can you can do it for like a couple people you know but yeah then you don't have spells to like cast anything oh, okay. on a dragon attacking a town yeah okay yeah i just meant for the dragon oh actions that's right Okay. Uh, well, I think I, yeah, I, I think there's not with a big dragon up head. You probably don't even need to use spells to convince <laughs> people to do stuff. So, yeah, like, I mean, let's go, uh, Fenir. What are some things that you say to the people? You guys are knocking on the doors, trying to get people out. What do you say, Fenir? Um. So I use that child voice uh, to 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 just say that there is a dragon coming. Beware and. Just yeah, running house to house doing that. Okay, uh, Demas, what what do you say to some of these people? Yeah, I go to house to house. I'm like, hey guys, <clears throat> heads up, dragons coming. I've seen this thing. It's not pretty. Um, we probably want to usher them somewhere though, right? 
Yeah, oh, it's not pretty one. Huh? It's not pretty. The more you near a uh, waterfront. Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah, said usher them to the waterfront. No, I think he's just asking I, if I, there's a waterfront. No, I was gonna say a waterfront would be good for people on fire. Mm-hmm. And, and no one's on fire run. yet. What'd you say? I said maybe we gather them near the town hall, where they all know. Okay. Isn't that in the middle of town? Well, we we would be sending people to Bryn Shander. Uh, yeah. one of the safe uh, places. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm basically okay. telling them to go to Bryn Shander then. So just try and evacuate. All right. That's okay, uh, guys. Okay. Grab, yeah, grab anything you need. Grab your kids. Go to Bryn Shander. Hey, and for hey, anybody who can't evacuate, um, let's see. There's a dragon there coming. Any, if you can fight, you know, fight. like, not, really evacuate like to Bryn Shander. That's what I'll say. Go okay. to any base you have. I guess seek shelter, you know. If there's like old people okay. around the camp, travel just tell yeah, them. Yeah, who but... might not be able to travel very easily. If okay. there's uh, people that need stuff moved, I can use uh, what is it? The uh, uh, invisible uh, guys that move stuff. Your unseen uh, servant. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah I mean, Slippy servant, probably yeah. runs into some people that are just trying to take way too much stuff out of their house. If their house was on fire, they'd burn to death. But he he comes in and he's got his unseen servant. So they seemingly are just floating out and, and going with them to, to Bryn Chatter. Although, I mean, your unseen, does he keep going? Whatever. It, I'm not going to focus on it too much. Okay, cool. So he's helping out. Um, it's about... Uh, here, I'll jump ahead an hour. It's about 4.16 a.m. Um, the aurora that started at about midnight starts to fade out. Um, and the, the dragon has not come yet. Do we hear anything? Yeah, and is Targos and stuff okay? Uh, well, it's... It's technically nighttime, so it's hard to see over there. Uh, everyone, just give me a group perception. So everyone, just roll a perception, and we'll see. <laughs> and I fly Tony Hawk like. Tony Hawk's in lonely. Twenty and a one. Okay. Oh, okay. I was well, just gonna say like fly up and see like what he what he, he could see it like across the continent or like you know as far as he could get up. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Technically, it probably he probably made it to Lonelywood already. And technically, you can cancel out your familiar and just create him again right next to you. Um, so sure, yeah, you you summon Tony Hawk, um, and while everyone's kind of looking, Fenir and Lyafira, dang, you're doing good. Although, don't roll advantage every time. Um, well, she rolled with disadvantage. You never know check. <laughs> no, that's a keep high. Oh, well, she rolled both um, ways. That's I fine. thought it was. Oh, did I roll twice? Shoot. It's okay. I mean, I can oh, just okay. look at which ones are which. Okay. Um, seven and nine. Cool, cool. Um, it's hard to see. It's dark outside, and you're just trying to look over Mare Dalden towards the cities at the far end of the the lake. Um, and Fenir sees. Yeah. Let me double check. Um, you guys see what Fenir sees like one little kind of ember burning out there. Um, and then uh, Spibby or Slippy creates Tony Hawk who takes up off into the air. Um, and he starts looking through it. And I guess you notice that no lonely wood has not been hit, but although it gets attacked while you're looking at it. Mm. Uh, small okay. embers start to light up in that area next to the trees. So, like, I am uh, fleeing from the area, basically. Maybe we should just try to, if this is a smaller town, maybe it would attack Targos first. So maybe we just try to gather up able-bodied people and try to evacuate people and just head to Targos. They'll be more fortified. Yeah. 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 Okay. And that's okay. it's a fairly short travel. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah back it's not too bad. Time. It was like an hour and a half to get there yeah. on foot. It'll probably Man. be about two hours for them to to get over to Targos. Uh, I guess do you walk with everyone? You gather everyone together and you just kind of escort them, or do you fly ahead? Uh, 
Can we? Uh, yeah. Oh, are we talking about Alex? Yeah. Uh, I am going to have the Tony Hawk meet him halfway, and then just kind of like fly ahead, I guess, kind of if he can. If if not, I understand. Like so that you can go faster than them, and Tony Hawk leads the way for them. Exactly, but like there would be no like. Uh, or are you asking yeah, if we yeah, guide yeah. the people from here to Targos? Yeah, basically, he would know we were getting attacked, but that's about it. We'd just be getting attacked. <laughs> I'm not sure if I follow. So you okay? So you guys are heading to Targos. So like, so Tony Hawk can get up and like see the uh, the surrounding area, but I mean, like, right. other than that, what's he gonna do? Well, I don't know. I thought you were telling me what he was gonna do. Well, no, I was going to say, like, yeah, he, he knows that there's people up ahead, but yeah, and they can, but if it's not a, yeah, as quick as we thought it was going to be, like, I did, I, I don't know how long we had between everything. I think it was just a miscommunication. I think Alex was asking us if we are guiding the people from uh, Bremen to Targos, like, or if we are going to try to go on ahead and try to get to Targos first before the people. I vote that we stay Exactly. Together. Um, as one pace, I guess, like as one unit. Okay. Um, with the people the of yeah, yeah. They might have, like, of, uh, right stuff, Bremen. So go right. at the speed of yeah, the slowest yeah, people, so that you can I mean, attack them if need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. exactly. For sure. He, yeah, he's kind of like a, a a reconnaissance hawk. Okay. Okay, uh, so Tony Hawk is just making sure everything's good with the people and you guys are coming. It takes two hours to get back to Targos. <laughs> um, it's about 6.16 now. And, yep, okay. Let me get you off of there. Let's go to Targos. Where you at? Where you at, Targos? Chris, where you going? All right, so you guys are standing outside the front gates of Targos. Is this not configured right? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Uh, and you've got all the people from Bremen. Not not too many, um, but they are there with you. Where's... Uh, yeah, you were, well, it was Japan right over there, right? Oh, are they able to like, like, can they fight? Oh, okay. yeah, pulling back in. Some of them can. Some of them are raring to go. Some of them grab like the best swords um, that they had, which were like kind of rusted. Oh, let's see. Where's my character? I had um a skill. Let's see. Um, to like, uh, what was it? Okay. It was uh, something like inspire or. Uh, <laughs> uh, where where do I get to? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. Um, so good. Is it like guidance? Maybe you were thinking. That might have been a. Maybe you thinking a bardic inspiration. Or no, it was a song. It was like a type of song I could sing. Oh, that I think like... that's under your features. Yeah, the tales. Oh. Bardic inspiration. Determined tale. Or and or bardic inspiration. Okay. Yeah. So are you so I'll, wait until we have any, I'll wait until we have sight of the dragon, but whenever the dragon comes, I'll use that. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah. Just okay. like beef. So yeah, you're kind of up. motioning people into the town, and the uh, the the speaker of Bremen probably passes by and is just... Listen, you guys, I'm so thankful. Oh, jeez, I don't know what we would have been... We would have been toast if you hadn't come along and saved us. Thank you so much. Hopefully we're okay here. Don't think oh, it's yet, the dragon's still out there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just uh, keep people on edge. Keep people on guard. Be ready. Okay. Let's people are probably, like, just now waking up, guys... right? Um, I asked the speaker, too. I'm like, do you guys have any, like, food you can get get us? I know it's weird, like, time to ask, but I'm really hungry. We've been walking around for, like, five hours. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, Demas, people are probably somewhat waking up, although the sun doesn't rise until about 10. Uh, so it's not as many people as would be normal. Most people are getting up at 10, but just some of the early, 
early birds are kind of roaming gotcha. around the town. But we, we can't really see that, though. Are we behind, like, a big bordered wall or something? Yes. Yeah, you're about, you're behind a big old stone wall that wraps around Targos. I mean, you can go inside if you want, or you can stay outside. Uh, a lot of the militia are lining outside the walls. Let's say, can we get oh, up on the wall? Get these. <laughs> sure. We should probably get these people in there too, though. No, the people are going inside. That's already. Yeah, they are going in. Okay. Yeah, cool. they're they're filtering in. All right, the walls. there we go. Um. There, there's one woman who's just kind of yelling out, "Horwar, Horwar, are you here?" Um, so she's looking for somebody, and then uh, you, a familiar face approaches. Oh, you guys got to be kidding me. We get down from the mountain, and then this? Uh, Keegan said that he's appreciative, but what are we going to do? It's me, Garrett. Remember, you took my dog the and then went yeah, up the yeah. mountain. Are these the dudes that we met at the tavern? And they've like the dog sled team. What? We met like a team of people that had just come back from somewhere, and they had like a pack of dogs. And I think we were like inside of a tavern or something. Hmm. I don't remember. I remember that there was a dog with you, and then you took the dog up the mountain, and then you found him on the mountain. Oh, I don't know. That doesn't sound familiar. And then like. Well, whatever. Uh, well, he was so cool. Look, I trust. I, I'm bothering you. I'm gonna get back to fortifying the house so that nothing. I I don't know even what to do. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you. All right, bye. <laughs> no worries. Who's that guy? Thank you. Dude, that guy was the best. I've never met that guy. <laughs> I don't even know that guy. Uh, so yeah, you guys can climb up on the wall if you want. I put you guys there. Um, and you guys are just kind of yeah. hanging out, I guess, waiting for the dragon to show up. Yeah, I want to yeah. be like near the north side of town, looking to see if I can see it coming down in the north. Okay. I, I just like, I guess, you walk like around the streets singing songs of war. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> war Ominous. songs. Okay. Well, you're po give me a, a performance roll. Can I pull out my loot in the system? Yeah. And that's so roll with advantage. So, oh, yeah. alt? Yes, alt. Okay. Wow. You are Ooh. good. Oh, You're right. pretty so good, you man. Get, <laughs> you get a Great. number of militia and tribal warriors just kind of following behind you, getting pumped up, ready to fight this dragon. They're just swinging and practicing. You're getting them amped up. A D&D &D hustler. No, you know, I don't really ever roll that great. <laughs> yeah, all right. All night. Um, okay. Uh, another hour passes while you guys are kind of just preparing, getting, trying to find a spot in town. Um, and that's, I guess, when you hear explosions coming from the west. Bremen is under attack. Just like I thought. And a lot of the right, militia we... move towards the west side of town, just expecting it to come from that direction. Uh, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna try to get the attention of the militia, like leaders and stuff. Be like, no, not just the west. We need to go to the north and the south. It's gonna be like circling around the entire town, attacking all the buildings. We need to have be spread out. There's probably gonna be Durgar attacking the other parts of the town. We need to try to protect as many people as we can. Oh, show. Sure. Okay. Well, is uh, is there anything specific anyone's trying to do in before the dragon gets here? I'm gonna uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do the Bardic and Inspiration. Okay. To who? You pick one person. And they get to add a D8 to a roll of their choice. Okay, who is our strongest person? Our strongest <laughs> well, well, I guess it's, it's more magic-based. Uh, I think well, you can apply to attack the, rules, the, bar right? the Bardic Inspiration just gives you an extra die so you can add to an attack. Oh, to me. To, uh, no, no, no. I to no, to one of your to. buddies. Anyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like a little buff you put on somebody where they can, like, make their die roll better. I'm pretty sure you can bark okay. fire yourself. Eventually, not, like, when you're a lower yeah, level. Yeah, I guess, like, no, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So would it make sense to cast it now or like when we need it? I guess. I mean, I mean more so last... when you need it. I wasn't going to oh, use it up and make it expire before the dragon gets here. So it I'm lasts a minute. Yeah. yeah. So it has so ten like ten minutes. Like, oh. More like right Ooh. before the dragon was going to attack, it would do Right. Mm. Okay. But I, mean, I was assuming that was going to happen. Who do you want to give it to, though? Um, whoever our strongest caster is. Hmm. So either Lyophyra uh, or whoever the other sorcerer. Who's the other sorcerer? Oh, Demus. That'd be Demus. Demus. Yeah, either one of those would be good. So who's got the stronger attack bonus? Probably, probably. Uh -huh. I mean, I got some pretty good attacks. I mean, I just have the... I see. What do you have what? I got some shit. Gold Earth, that. Yeah, but that's that's like okay. it just changes yeah. the outlay of the land, right? Yeah, I think you'd go with him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what is your? Yeah. Um, yeah. So Dean. Demus. I mean, Spibby is a caster as well, although. Not Spibby. Oh, sl it's sorry, Slippy. Slippy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have Lightning Bolt. That's eight d six lightning. The no, lightning bolt is fucking. Uh, I've also got, uh, what is it? A uh, major illusion, which is just whatever you want. But it that's to be. he's looking for someone who damages things. Major illusion doesn't really do that. Or I mean, yeah, I mean, just whatever we can use against infuses this things. The damaging would be the best. Yeah, something if it can if it can take damage like that, then somebody who has enough damage. The only, like, I guess damaging spell I actually have is Ray of Sickness, but I have a bunch of damaging, like, cantrips, but I don't know if that counts, really. Uh, honestly, the, the Bardic Inspiration would also help me or uh, Harold, because that would make our attacks more accurate. Yeah, Do you just want to roll a D6 and mm -hmm. let it decide who gets it, or...? Yeah, yeah sure. Five. I mean, we can just make, like, yeah. Like, okay, let's say song Harold, like, Harold's mm -hmm. one... Uh, Lyophyra is two, Sl Slippy is three, Demus is four, and Nencho is five. Roll a d5. Oh, I gotta type it in the right spot. Four. Demus gets it. Hey. Thanks. Thanks. Well. <laughs> All right. So hang on. What is it? Let me give it to you. Barber's inspiration. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it, and then click does it. anything. Okay. I already clicked it for you. Yeah. Um, okay, so and you don't have to take that roll. You can just roll a d8 whenever you want to add it to something. Okay, oh. so you you guys are getting ready. Uh, I guess does anyone else do anything preparing for the dragon to show up? I'm gonna pray. <laughs> okay, that's a good <laughs> idea. I'll, I'll join him. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm smoking my last pipe. Keep them calm. Okay, you're you're keeping the the people calm in the city, Lyophyra. Yeah. Yep. And D Demus, what were you saying? I'm like sitting there on the edge, just smoking my last, like trying to enjoy my last pipe, my last toke. Okay. Yeah, just exactly. Smoking a cigarette yeah. before uh, you're, you're executed, essentially. I mean, this is going <laughs> to be scary. Okay. Uh, we got Slippy, this. Are you All doing right, anything I'm specific? Uh, no, I just got back. Uh, I didn't. Are you doing anything to prepare on? for the dragon to show up? Oh, the dragon to show up? Oh. You give me a second. All right, come back to me. Okay. Well, you were kind of the last one. Um, oh, I was the last one? Uh, let me... Well, you don't have to look at the spells. It's just you guys are waiting for the dragon to show up. Yeah, uh, I mean, Lyophyra is calming some of the people in the town. Demas is smoking his last cigar, just trying to enjoy. Uh, Harold and Nencho are praying to Bahamut. What are you doing? Anything. You don't necessarily have to be doing anything. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, oh game is paused. I can't do shit. What are you uh, I was to do? just going to cast... Uh, I was going to do major illusion uh, of another dragon going to the opposite direction of the one that they were coming at us with. Well, tell so me I would this. either have to. 
So here, let's see. Uh, no, like, what is your intention so, with what you're doing? I just need to know what you're uh, trying to, to accomplish. To like, kind of uh, make them avoid the town for enough to like everyone, yeah, to be uh, a little more prepared. So basically, just well, a big old time. sexy dragon like south of the south of the town. So the dragon's gonna be like, ooh, I'm gonna go fuck that sexy dragon, and then it's like, oh wait, that's not a dragon. I can fuck. Okay, um, I will say that technically uh, you were I, there. I have, I have, uh, you know, what is it, major illusion I can do. No, I get how you're doing it. I'm just, I, I think that you have enough experience with this dragon that it's not necessarily, it's just programmed to destroy these towns. So I don't think that's going to distract. Oh, it so, it, so it's just like a, yeah, like a, yeah. a other mages yeah okay gotcha yeah. okay so so yeah you're just i mean you're looking through your spell book trying to decide on what to use against the dragon when it finally arrives um and it's not it's just when the sun comes up you're waiting for three hours while bremen is destroyed uh and it's about 10 a.m the sun starts to rise and the dragon approaches from the west and starts strafing the outside of the town just blowing up buildings um yeah buildings are lighting on fire what are you guys doing you're up on the wall you can see it up towards well here damn it we should have seen if there was like ballistas or something um i'll try uh vicious mockery <laughs> Okay, you're you not even yeah, just a dragon. I can like get it to come over. So well, click that. Vicious mockery you're... doesn't have a distance. Uh, you can do it within sixty feet, and right now it's kind of strafing at like a hundred and twenty feet off the ground. Oh, okay, so it's pretty far away. Yes, yeah, so it's it's kind of high above at the moment, just using its its breath attack to burn up buildings, and they're just exploding. Okay. Oh no. Um. Yeah, and it, I guess it, it swings right past you guys and, and blows up one of the buildings right up off, off the wall, kind of near you within a 20 or so, well, within 50 feet. And it starts to collapse and you, feel, you hear people screaming from inside. Uh, you see a number of Durgar kind of breaking in through the front gates, uh, although the militia are kind of attacking them, but they're they're getting huge, um, twice the size as their normal small no, uh, dwarf size. Oh. And yeah, I guess, wh what else? There's, yeah, a, a bunch of them are just kind of storming the front gates here and trying to get in and beating up the guards. Um, uh, I'm going to put uh, bonfires in front of all those paths. That's a lot of paths, but okay. You start putting bonfires down, and they they kind of walk around them. Um, Give me five feet. Is there like a a ladder that I can take down? Because I think we're on top of the wall. Yeah. I'm gonna just try yeah. to like help fight these Durgar. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll uh, out on the front. ladder and go do that too. I, well, I, I'm get, sure. I guess I'm gonna wait for him to like come. Are they? They're not in town yet. They're outside of the wall still. No, they're they're over here at the front gates. Oh, okay. Sorry, is I don't is know there stuff that we can like throw or shoot at them from up here? Well, I guess I should have said that. Like uh, any five foot opening that they are coming through, I want to put a bonfire in. I hear you, but bonfire is concentration, so you can only really do one at a time. Oh yeah, that's true. You're correct. But what about the fires they start? Well, what about them? I mean, they're, are they're avoiding those fires? fires as well. Yeah, they're okay. not stepping in the fires that they create. Um, okay, um, let me throw some stuff down here. You guys, you guys are approaching the front gate, or let's check in with Vanir and Lyafira. What are you guys planning on doing? Okay, uh, Lyafira, so we... you were kind of with the people, not necessarily on the wall. So you hear the front gates getting pounded on and fighting going on up there, and a lot of the buildings in the town are just exploding around you. So these these Drugar is that, am I saying the right Drugar? The, sure, Durgar, Drugar, whatever you want to say. Yeah, they're the ones attacking. It did. 
is there like a leader of them? Does there appear to be a leader? Mm, give me a perception. Like one with one up on him. Perception? Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry. Okay. 12. What am I looking at? Oh, 12. Um, you can't tell if there, there's no one really giving commands or anything, but there's one that seems to be like wearing, wearing some sort of giant suit. There's like claws on it. And okay. Like okay. So I'm going to use best friends. Am I, am I 30 feet away from them? right now? No, you guys can run up and get close and then try to fight them there. Okay. Okay, so my plan is to run close enough within 30 feet and try and make fast friends with this guy in this thing. So after his task, after the next task he does, I get to give him another task. So I was going to try and give him a task that is meaningless or like guide them somewhere away. So at least we can take care of them, you know, send them on a goose errand, you know. Okay, I hear the goal. Okay, so you guys, yeah, so you guys are just kind of booking it up towards the area so that you can get within range of hitting him at all. Um, uh, yeah, and I... so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast it, and if it's successful, I'm gonna run in the direction that I want him to go to, like basically follow me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, let me see, Demis. W w uh, anything? What are you thinking? Uh, I'm just running up there right now, and I got, I'm, shit, I guess I start fighting these guys. Okay. Well, let's roll into an initiative. Uh, so click your token, and then under utility, roll initiative is there. Oh, sorry, it won't work until I do this. There we go. I was gonna say. Yes. Am I on the Overland map or Targos? Yeah, where's I don't see my uh, token. Way down. Uh, it's south. real small. It's like right here. If you scroll in. Whoa. Oh, wow. okay. I was just doing that. Okay, here we go. And you know what? Just okay. to make this battle easier. Oh shit! Everybody, remember your your initiative, unless you want to roll again. I'm gonna remember it so hard. Okay. All right, where's the initiative? You or you're not even this? in it. It's fine. So Harold yeah. is 12 and Mencho is six. Okay, cool. We're good. <laughs> it's good. It's it better so that hard. we don't have to redo it. That's fine. Okay, so let's say. And I need to roll my initiative. Yeah. Find it. There it is. Although, am I missing some people now? Oh. Or are you, they're, they're probably stacked, aren't they? Haha, <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna light so you a who, torch. Who wants okay. to start a police cover band with me called uh, the FBI? I don't get it. Well, there's just one level up, that's it. I still don't get it. Okay, so you got, yeah, all these Durgar are attacking uh, the front gates here. Uh, and this big ol', like, as you get closer, he's, like, wearing a mech suit. It seems like he's, like, controlling it from inside. Um, I should probably put some tribal warriors out here. But that's what. Okay. okay, so did we get an initiative? Let no, me... it's I led me. Is it? Yeah, no, it the isn't because I didn't put these guys in one yet. Now it should let you. Roll initiative. Mm-hmm. There we go. Fifteen. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, this 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 warrior is just fighting with this Durgar there. It's sw he's swinging his what does he got his spear down at the Durgar, but the Durgar has heavy armor and keeps blocking it. Um, this other guy is just kind of defending the gates, trying to make sure nobody gets through. Demas, it is your turn first. What are you doing? The dragon is just swooping around the outside, but these guys are all here. Yeah. So. I am going to give me one second here. Oh, I didn't mean to. Look at my spot. Sorry about the timer. So these Drugar guys, they're considered creatures, right? Yes. Yeah. So I use my acid splash. Okay, you totally can. Yeah. Uh so you target the guy you're going after. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Now I'm here. Anyone right. else here? Yep, we're all here. Yes. Boom. I'm not letting me target for some reason. Um, are you... Oh, there, there it goes. There we go. Okay, cool. Acid splash. So click the damage, and it should give me the saving throw button. You just, Damn it. it's kind of spurts out of your hands. You're spraying this Durgar, uh, and he gets a seven, so he fails. The the acid splashes all over his beard and his face, burns off part of his skin. Oh, nice. Oh no. Oh shit. I did skip too early. Do you do anything else? That was Hell your yeah. action. Do you? Did I burn? Did I burn some faces? I don't you're, know what I did. It's not your turn. You're... <laughs> oh, okay. Are you even in the, uh, you're not in. I've order. been, I've been cut out like the entire time. I haven't heard anything. So. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I Demas. Know, that's what I got. Wait, did do you did you not re? Do you don't want me to re-roll my stuff? Oh yes, or, re like, re-roll. And I'll okay. I'll just change the number to be correct. What was your previous one? I think it was six. Do you want a fifteen instead? That's fine. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Uh, and then, Harold, we need to get you. And Slippy, you need to roll initiative. Oh, yeah. How do we do that? Uh, it should click your token and then go to utility. I know, but my whole screen is black, so... Okay, I thought you said I don't know how to do that, so I was just telling you. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to do that with a black screen. Okay, well, I will roll it then. Boop, boop, boop. All right. We're in there. Perfect. Harold, I don't see you yet. Do we have you? We can't hear you, uh, Kevin. Your mic's not picking up the... My bad, guys. I was muted. I rolled a while ago. I rolled a 12. No, I know, but here, let me roll you back. Because I switched again? maps, it changed it. Here, I'll, I'll just I'll change roll. you to I'll 12. Roll. Then oh, well, I oh, already yeah. clicked it. Sorry. Well, it's too late. <laughs> you I'm going to give you the 12, so Finnier has a better... Chance That's here. fine. Okay, so yeah, Demas, um, is that your turn? I mean, you can use a bonus action to convert sorcery points, but I don't think you really need to do that right now. You want to move uh, anywhere? No. Yeah, actually, let me. Uh... Oh, you hit the You have to move, my guy. Um... No. Oh, it's paused. Hang on. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I just kind of move down here. Why I can move. Okay, so you, uh, okay. So you move oh. there? Yeah. All right. Uh, this Durgar sees you guys coming and kind of diverts through here. What has he got, a full 30? No, he, he runs up to here. Um, actually, he's gonna keep going. Yes. And go, I guess get to here and just kind of take a, a poise to, to swing at Harold. Fenir, what are you doing? Okay, so um, I'm going to cast Fast Friends. Okay. Okay, so target, you hold Alt and click the guy that you're targeting. Okay. That big motherfucker there. Boom. Okay. 
And then click spells. Fast friend. Mm-hmm. Boom. All right, so he has to do a wisdom save. Let's hope that he is smart. Ooh, he rolls a 16 and beats your 13. So he is not affected by fast friends. Damn, he doesn't want to be friend. He, yeah, he just refused to be your friend. He pushes you in a mud puddle. Uh, well, it, that was a good thought. It's just he's a little bit wiser than you expected. Um, okay. Do you do anything else? Oh, you have your... Uh, who did you... Oh, we already oh, gave it. Your bardic weird. inspiration uh, is on... Yeah on Demas. Okay. So just remember you can add a D8 to any roll. Um, yeah. Do you do anything else? I guess you could determine a tail if you wanted. That's bonus. Determine a tail? Oh. Bardic Inspiration? No, you have another feature where you have these special effects. Oh, yeah. The Tales from Beyond? Yeah. So you can like roll and figure out what tale you're going to tell someone, and then you could give it to someone later. Or you could do that a different time. I'm not trying to tell you oh. how to do it. Just giving you a uh, Yeah, um, I'll, I'll just end my turn there. Okay, for show. Sure. All right, Nensho, what are you doing? All right, we are going to, let's see. We are going to uh, make sure my, all right, yeah. We're going to move behind this guy. Does that give me uh, flanking on him? Oh, yeah. You, where are you? Oh, yes. Yeah, with Harold for sure. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to oh, give yeah. him the old three piece. The three piece. Nice. Oh, that one. I'm thinking that's going to hit. Oh, that the does old. hit. You just come down with your battle axe on this short, little, ugly guy. First hit. For seven slashing damage. Fuck yeah. All right. Extra attack. Nat 20. Oh my lord. Oh. Okay, that's a critical. Oh. For 13 oh. slashing oh. damage. Blood goes spraying all over the place. It, uh, oh. His beard falls off. I don't know why I just. Yes. I'm yes. always that's describing right. their beards and shit. It's just some more. Stuff. That's what I was aiming for, right? Uh, is that where he, where he was standing? What? Or is he still standing? He's That's still standing, just barely. Off. He's wobbling. All right, bonus attack. His beard was giving him a lot of equilibrium. Yeah, he, he can barely with stand with his beard missing. Holy uh, shit, you're doing good. Okay, this one is not the... It's only the four. This is yeah. My... Yeah, yeah, well, that sure does I it. If you want to give some flavor to this. Um... <laughs> yeah, just a real quick three piece. Just like uh, I, I uh, nod to Harold, uh, and Harold like distracts him, and then I just swoop around the back and just chop off his beard. Too. Right to, yeah, chop off his beard. <laughs> That's the last hit. I come around from the front and then just chink, like right into the throat, and then I'm going to hairless. use. I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to get up in this dude's face. Okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So Wait, you're what? Right. What? What face? He's got um, a face. There's a little Durgar like up yeah, inside of this robot right? body controlling <laughs> him. Although uh, now okay, that you're up in his okay. face, uh, all right, in front of can, his grill. No, but you can now that you're closer, you can see that like coming in from the helmet is just like piercing his skull and it's bleeding oh. down. That's gross, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you with that. <laughs> That's insane. Nearly as uh as we made it sound no <laughs> do you is that do you have more to do or are you just getting uh, ready there? that was that was attack attack bonus action for the third attack the rest of my movement to go over there okay okay mm -hmm. that's all i got um so yeah you're about to attack his buddy so this Durgar north of you steps down to get flanking uh, and uh -oh. just starts swinging at you with his war pick Oh no! That's a crit too, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh no, buddy. Okay, hang on. No, this has got to be wrong. Hang on. Let me read this. What did they got fight pack tactics or something? I'm probably getting watched. No, can I, I think. To, can I attempt to stop? Huh? Said, can I attempt? Oh no, never mind. No, you don't have a reaction. Okay, yeah. so he's swinging down on you. Although it's, 
Wait. He does uh, different attacks. Fucking... He does different attacks depending on if he's big or not, and it's adding the two together. So it's oh, okay, only okay. 12 damage. It's not the full 32. Oh. That's not the best. I was just right. going to say, like, I didn't I get something with, uh, uh never mind, never mind. Do you get multiple attacks or just that one? No, no. I, I mean I, the Durgar. No, I think oh, just yeah. that Durgar gets the one attack. Uh, let me double check. He's got... No, that's all an action. Okay, nope, yeah, so he just attacks you the once. He's fine. Uh, this Here. tribal warrior guy... Uh, he No, he's just holding the gate. He wants to come out, but he's just making sure no one goes through. He readies his action in case anyone gets through. Harold, what are you doing? I'm going to move right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, buddy. Ooh, <laughs> flanking this big guy. So, yeah, big robot oh, body, know. little Durgar up inside of the the helm. See, Harold knew was up. That was part of the nod when I originally nodded to him. He, he got the message. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where's my spells? Where am I, where am I That's spells? That's a run. Um, does it tell me what kind of action? Oh, I, I right-clicked. It will. Okay. Ooh, it is. Okay. Um, can I cast magic weapon? Okay. On me. I don't know why I can roll damage. Um, I think it's it just you click that whenever you hit with it, and it add, mm. does it add damage to it? I don't know. Maybe it, it gives me. I'm gonna. No, I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh sword, scythe, hammer, or mace. What's up? I just have a bunch of different icons I can use for it. Oh, a sword. I'm just because okay. I have my rapier. Um, but I'm gonna yeah, hit him with sure. that. Oh wait, hold on. I I have advantage. I didn't roll it with advantage. Ah, yeah. oh, didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, yeah, your your magical okay. weapon swings and misses I at this guy. Got another one though. It's a little better. Ooh, that one lands. That's just nice. a regular attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna. Yes. I'm gonna save my smiting for this fucking dragon. Mark. All right. So you scratch up some of its outer shell. Um. Oh, this... I guess I didn't add a plus one. I don't know if that helps, but. I no, I went back to double check that okay. 13 or 8 didn't do it. Okay. Uh, this Dar Durgar is preoccupied, swinging at this oh. guard to the north and totally hits him and kills him in one swing. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait. <coughs> Hang on, how many did he have? Oh, yeah, it was still enough. Okay. Uh, Lyophyra, you are up. What are you doing? I am. Uh, I was gonna cast a spell, but. Well, yeah, he's got his back turned. The yeah. big guy. Uh, I was maybe thinking about the 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 firebolt one because I don't really have any inventory. That's a good one. That'll yeah, do it. that's not a bad choice. Behind him. Yeah, I'll move behind him. Where is he? He's that right there, right? Uh, this, this is the guy big guy right the here. Big guy. And then this is another bad guy right here, too. All right, so I'm going to do that and then hit. You have to click on him, right? Click on uh, him so like you'll that. alt click on him to target him. Okay. Which is option. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, no, wait, you, uh, you're you attacking Nencho right now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, wait. The guy in the middle. Oh, the guy in the middle. Shoot. <laughs> You can it's all good. There Remember we go. Remember, with the soup. And then I hit spell. And then I hit back. Oh. Uh, oh, I hit it twice. Oh, well. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That'll do it. Okay. Um... The first one technically misses, but I'm just going to take your second one. I don't care, uh, just for the sake of it. Uh, so you are attacking this guy. You come in with a 24. Click the damage button. Mm 
In it's in the chat. That? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> It's okay. just like, uh, it's in the window that says fireball. Okay, I think you got it. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> That's powerful. 40, 10 fire damage. You, <laughs> goodbye, beard. Uh, this dude is <laughs> dizzied inside. His skin is burning inside of this giant freaking robot and its gears start to... <laughs> It's not down, but it's fucking close. Holy shit. You must have cast it at like a high level or something. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, do you do anything else? Um, One piece, one plus eight plus three plus three. Well, no, your attack phase. Oh, yeah. That's all I do. I guess I'm good. Hmm. I'm not going to retract it, but it says that you'd have to be 17th level to yeah, cast it with that amount of power. I was just going to say that. Power. So I'm going to say it like... Hey. <laughs> what? I just That's... clicked it. No, I know. I don't think you did anything. I'm just going to have to oh. look at the settings the, and see what the happened The 2DK there. thing? No, not the 2DK. Huh. Anyway, okay. So you fucked that guy up. Um, Do you have any bonus? I don't think you... To... No, you just have the sorcery point stuff. Okay, so Slippy, what are you up to? Uh, I I have no idea where we even are at this point. Uh, I like I lost like half the. I mean, the session. aren't you Sorry. fighting? It looks like there's a battle going on right there. You you want to fight somebody? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> Well, who's this guy and what is he doing? Okay, so he comes in when Alex gets back. I can render stuff, but he comes in towards Nencho. Or where my uh place was. And he misses. The hammer is turned next. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Um, I think I can hear you guys now. Okay. Well, we can hear you. What are you? What are you doing? It's your turn. All right. I have no idea. Um, where were we at the the last point in uh, combat? My I'm not sure what. That guy. He needs one more just, little yeah, push yeah. over. Yeah. Lyophyra just yeah. attacked this big robot Durgar, and he's doing pretty bad. There's these he other Durgar to the north and the west of Nensho. Okay. So I can attack them. Yes, you can. Alright. Well, then I am going to do that. I have no... Is it overland map or town wall? What are we doing are, here? Sh aren't you? Are you should be on it already. Are you not on the map where yeah. you see the fight happening? No, that was just all like black space. There was nothing. Oh, he's outside of the. Are you? Yeah, I, I, I have nothing. I don't, I don't know. He's you know, like you'll see, like. I mean, like maybe his idea. map's just messed up. It says that you're loaded on here, so I'm not sure what... I mean... Do you know what spell you're trying to do? We're almost out of time. Uh, no, I didn't really, because I didn't know where, like, where anyone was on the, the battlefield. Like, I, yeah, I, I'm just... I think he's, like, zoomed up. out real far. Okay, uh, I mean, you like... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. It sounds like it's just not working on your end. So, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to skip your turn. Um, yeah, skip me. So, the the giant Durgar hammerer comes around. Um, and he does not like how powerful Lyophyra's attack against him was. And in his final move, he's going to reach out with his claw. He's not no. flanking or anything. 
He could go at Nencho and have advantage, but he doesn't care. He comes in and claws you and just kind of oh. smashes your side with the claw for seven bludgeoning damage. And then as he's holding you there, he comes in with the hammer and tries to smash you in the head. Um, but you block that attack and he does not hit. Um, he's going mm. to... Uh, he can't disengage, so he leaves. So... Lyophyra, if you want to try to attack him with a some with like a dagger or yeah, something. I think I'll go with my I, yeah, I think I'll go with my dagger and try to get one more big go at him. Or okay. Can I use my, can I use my big screwdriver? <laughs> you can. Yeah, she she's looking at these daggers and she puts them away and pulls out this big screwdriver. Uh, yeah, you can swing that at him. Okay. Oh, man. Ooh, but it just scrapes the back of his armor as he gets away. Uh, he is going to continue going, so Nencho and Harold, you both have opportunity attacks as well. Oh yeah, baby. It's coming down like the hammer of justice of Bahamut, baby. <laughs> oh oh my, my lord, yeah, Nencho. Yeah, and a 24 yeah. from you? Uh. Okay. Well, hold get on, out of here. Get away. This person just pissed him off. Oh, no, we can't both get him. Like, is this enough to get him? <laughs> that does it, yeah. yeah. All right, so, Harold, I, like, get him with one of my axes and lift him up and, like, get him perfect position for you to just skewer him. Hell yeah. Oh, my I'm God. I'm totally game for it. Yeah. And he just tips and boosh, smashes <laughs> into the snow. Um, like, right up under the armpit. Oh my lord, those tribal warriors are still... Well, no, he runs in. As soon as we get these guys, we can wrap it up for today. This Brave guy sport. runs in and is swinging at this Durgar here uh, and misses the... Uh, one's dead. Shit. Demas! Yeah. Redemus. So... I actually Redemus. move right now. Yeah. What'd you say? I actually move my character to closer to attack. Uh, yeah. Okay. I come up here and I'm gonna whip out the <laughs> cheese grater. Yeah. <laughs> you got a big old cheese grater. Oh shit! You know I want to roll my D8 with that. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, you I can. Too late now. But you have to keep. Well, no, no. You can. I think you can decide after you see the roll. But it's eight plus three might not be good enough. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't hit damage yet either. No, I know, but it adds to your roll. Okay. And, I mean, I think it'd probably be better to save it because I don't think there's any way it could make it hit by adding it. Gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, but you go up with your che your cheese grater and you just start. It, he blocks it with his his uh, war pick. And he just starts scraping away at some of the handle. Um, let's give everybody one more turn. Fenir, you doing anything? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just stay where I'm at, but I'm gonna use dissonant whispers on this guy over here. Okay. 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 Yeah, target him. Uh, I'll get this down eventually. No, it's uh, first time. Yeah, for sure. No worries. Uh, you. Okay. And okay. then. Those dissonant whispers. Bam. Eat that. Some tritones for you. Bam. All Good one. right. Uh, I think he has a damage? wisdom save. So click the damage button in the chat and it should prompt me for his okay. save. Ooh, that's a that's a good amount of psychic damage. It's just in the chat window. Is it the bottom of the the description? Yeah, I clicked damage. Oh, you did? Yeah, do I click normal? Oh, yeah, click normal. Sorry, it has a pop-up, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, and he fails with a seven. You do 15 psychic damage to this guy. He grabs his head. Oh, blood starts spraying out of his ears coloring his beard pink and red. Holy shit. Okay. That's good. Do you do anything else? Do you move? Do you have bonus stuff? Um, let's see. Um, I will... 
let's see. I'll, I'll run up on the guy right next to me, too. And okay. that's it. On. Okay, so you just kind of run up next to him. Yeah, I mean, if someone gets... Yeah, I'm about to swing on him, you know. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Nensho. Fenir has just run up next to the Durgar to your north. There's a Durgar to your west as well. What are you doing? I thought that's what you'd be into. Yeah. Oh, you're double flanking. Holy what? Are you talking? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. My bad. <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah, we we got we got the double advantage. Nisha's gonna sl slink in right here, and then this is for damage. Okay, so we're gonna do the attack first. Do I have him targeted? Okay, I do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it almost it almost Ooh. jumped over. Yeah, twenty-two you is enough. Slam that guy. Yeah, that is good. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and make this a maneuvering attack. And we're going to we're going to say Harold if, if it's a hit uh oh shit. It didn't, I didn't do that first. So, but it, it you usually do it after a hit. So not give me any. That's oh, fine. Here's it. Here it is. Here it is. So extra six damage on top of that, and Harold can move half of his speed if he wants to as a reaction. So uh, with 14, is that enough to take that guy out? Just click where you want to go, and I'll move you, Harold. I'm not really sure where I'd want to. I'll just move right here where that dead guy is. I also okay. choose this guy's dead wife. So you're, st <laughs> you're standing on top of the corpse of this robot, yeah. Durgar. Okay. You might lower the morale of the other ones. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, is the guy hit still standing? Uh, he is still standing. Yes. All right, he's getting another one. Uh, oh no no! Oh, he blocks it. He holds up his war pick and blocks it. I do have advantage. Ooh, oh boy! Oh, you do hit actually. Yeah, my boy, and for Bro max damage. Oh, that drops him. Nice. All right. We still got the bonus action to um, throw another battle axe at this dude. Oh, I well, thought it was going to be a nat 20 again. But, but we, it wasn't. Yeah, you didn't get... advantage. You I know, I know. Yeah. That's a little Oh, better. my God. Look at One you. Fire. Tactical master. Only five damage. Or only three. Uh, it would only be two damage on that one, though, since I don't have... Oh, because my three doesn't attack. go. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. I'm sure there's a way we can figure that out, like, in the character sheet or something. Yeah. For my other game, I had to just add a different attack that subtracts it, but I'll look into it. Um, and then that's your turn, right? That's it. Yeah, that's... uh, Yeah, I think that... Well, let's see. Is this other dir... Let's see. This other dir... You know what? I'm going to spend... The rest of my movement and give my buddy some uh advantage baby some advantage yeah yeah, yeah. Can... oh so there you Nencho go okay fucking future general man i'm telling you so harold you are up nencho has moved into s to spot to distract this durgar to your east it's an 18 hit 18 hits you slash it from behind with your rapier Ooh, for five piercing damage all right, I'm like, I'll hit him with another. Uh, I don't really have any. Oh, actually, it would be six. It's a my weapon. Oh, because it's one magic. Right oh, you're using. Yeah, you right. You right. Okay, minus one more. Twenty one's definitely a hit. That's yeah, most definitely. And it or should eight be eight, damage. right? What's up? I'm, sh I'm adding one to that one too, or is that a regular rapier? Yeah, attack? yeah, no, that that'd be a plus one as well. Okay. Um. He's bloody. It's real. Uh, that's all. That's that's all I got. I'm not gonna use my spells yet. Okay. You can make, for sure. You get over here to make sure this guy doesn't run away from us. The villagers right here too, though. Oh, I feel you. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna move right here. Just sure. Step. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. Okay. Uh, next 
turn. Oh, it is that guy. Well, you moved right up next to him. He turns around and just goes to attack you. Uh, you know what? No, he doesn't. He uses his action. And he just starts to grow. Boosh! He doubles uh -oh. in size, towering over you. His muscles are stronger. He flexes. Uh, but that's his turn. Lyophyra, what are you up to? So I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to help my buddy out here and do a chromatic orb. I'm just going to... I'm watching his screen for some reason. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to move here. Okay. And... I'm gonna do a. Well, what's the damage area of that? It's like 90 feet or something. Like no, that. like how far? Oh, I get it. Oh yeah, you got it. Yeah. Select them. Oh, with all. Oh, maybe I have to. You have to hit all. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I got it. <clears throat> Ooh, and what kind of? energy acid cold fire lightning poison or thunder i think we'll go with acid acid okay okay cool Ooh. 19. That, that fucking hit. You just blast this big old glowing orb of acid out and it hits this guy right in the chest absorbing through his armor uh, go ahead and click for damage. Holy crap. I'm just going to say this is it technically right now. That's your big old orb. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay, you got some powerful stuff. Uh, do you want to describe his death? Holy crap. <laughs> so he basically just, I mean, it, he just absorbs in a giant puddle of... I don't know. He just like boiling, melts and his armor boiling, falls. Can it, be, can it be LSD and he just has a terrible trip? <laughs> <laughs> he trips so bad that he just he dies. Off. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks his face is melting off and just right. tears it but off. It so actually. Yeah. Go Holy this shit. Is a lot more colors. Okay. Um, is this the or thing like where this sticks around? Blood? No, I, I'm I thinking think of something so. else, I think. Uh, okay. And you know what? Let's just see how quick I can <laughs> just make a decision under him. Um, yeah, you know what? That's, uh, well, wait, is everyone dead? No, that guy's left. Okay. Uh, Slippy runs over here, is flanking with Lyophyra, Um And he... Um, let's just say he's going to poison spray this little guy. On open wounds, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Get it all up in there. He sprays <laughs> oh. poison all over this guy for six poison damage. He's getting close. Um, it's his turn. Man, he's almost dead. I was going to wrap this up, but you guys mm -hmm. good to go until this guy's dead or... We yeah, we can just kill him. He's, he's basically there. Yeah. I, I was going to start mocking him. So, I mean, that, gosh. that might Now, Lyophyra seems to be the powerhouse here with how much damage she's causing to people. So he turns around to her and... Oh, you know what? Uh, He turns around... And then uh, he's going to go to attack, but he just vanishes. He's invisible. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that's not good for you guys. That's no. really good. <laughs> Although, I mean, where could he have gone? Who even knows? Probably right there still. Um, okay, that's his turn. Durgar Hammer's dead. Get out of the order. Or Demas, what are you doing? One guy's yeah. left standing, although he seems to be invisible. He was last seen directly north of you. What about this guy up here? That's one of the tribal warrior guys. That's oh, okay, like, okay, that's okay. the town guard. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. I don't know like, if so. I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. No, you're. Okay. You're good. I didn't oh, know. I, just, I don't know. Like, 
this if he even moved at all. So I guess I can move here and. Um, oh swing, yeah, you're right? flanking. Are you just gonna <laughs> yeah, swing yeah. in that same spot? Uh, I was gonna give it a shot. Yeah, I don't really have okay. anything. Okay. Yeah, for really... sure. Well, hang on. You can. Oh, you're already targeting him. Sweet. So you, it's a disadvantage because you can't see it. So hold control okay. when you attack. Swing the cheese grater at him once again. Nice. 16 with a keep low. Yeah, that hit. You feel your cheese grater just, well, blood starts to drip down from inside and little <laughs> shreds of white beard <laughs> fall out. It was there. Demas, it that does it. Describe his death. He becomes nope. visible again. Yeah, so it, he becomes visible again and... Um, I guess <laughs> the little guy inside just completely explodes. Um, well, I guess because uh, the the cheese grater um, basically uh, short circuited his like robotic body. No, this is a normal dude. This guy's well, not a robot, dude. but oh, okay. Well, you short circuit his mind. You, he doesn't like what you did <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I, I blew his mind. That's. Some yeah. would argue the brain is a complicated robot. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Holy crap, guys. Okay. Uh, well, you've What's defeated up? the 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 Durgar at the front gate. Uh, the the dragon is still strafing around, destroying buildings. But we will pick up next time and see what happens with that guy. That was Sounds. a good old battle. All right. Yeah. yeah. Woo, a little bit all over the place. Sorry, we were... I like, I like the animations and stuff. It makes it a little more fun. Yeah, right? I know. I, I bought a pack and did all these modules and stuff, but... And, like, yeah, with the blood spraying out and just, like, your firebolt blasting. And I added a bunch of things for you specifically, Fenir, as a bard, so it has, like, little musical notes coming out a lot of the attacks. But, yeah. Well, so, yeah... I, I think you got a, a, a hang of it. We'll we'll get better in the future, and hopefully Slippy's connection or whatever it is <laughs> clears up. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> we'll try to resolve all the stuff. But I, otherwise, it was pretty good. I think. Yeah, I agree with myself. Yeah, I don't know. Always have a good time. All right. Well, gee, well, I, it's been so long since I played, but it's nice to play again. Yeah, yeah for sure. And you you last played at three point five. You said. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been a while. Like I know stuff's changed. Like I've talked to some people about it, but I haven't actually played. Mm -hmm. I got it. Well, yeah, it's good to have you, man. Take it easy, oh, buddy. Good seeing you. Yeah, see you guys. Yeah, everybody have a good evening. Yeah, you as well. Yeah, thanks, Erica. You did uh, great. Is, is I know we had some issues. Week? What is it? Spring time next week? Yeah. Like, do you do it on Thursdays every week? Yeah. Sweet. All right. Yep. We'll see you guys in six. All right. See you guys see next you guys. Thursday. Later. Take it easy, y'all. Oh. I'm good. Well. What's up? I was going to say stuff, but then I realized <laughs> I'm still streaming and I don't need to say that stuff on the stream. Ah. But, uh, I wonder if I can turn that off. Oh, probably not. Well, I don't know. Uh, good game. Oh, it's about to be over anyway. Hang on. Oh, your credits.